Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cynical, and this is Gems of War, and today we're going to be messing around with the new Mythic and finishing invasions. We'll probably do our cardio first though, and I got to get everything started, but let's get the screen moving, so we're doing something. Let me turn this down, okay. There we go. It decided to crash on me as soon as I started. Kind of stanky. Let's keep it moving. See, new mythic troop, Flame of Anu. Hopefully you got this or are planning on getting it. You got a whole week to get it. So, if you didn't get it yesterday, no big deal. You got a whole week. Hey, what up, Elite Gaming? How are you? You are number one. Um, Yeah, you got a whole week to get the new mythic. But... I assume if you didn't get it yesterday, you probably used most of your keys going for it, so I know how it is. It's going to be really hard to end up getting it. But you do have another chance, like Monday, your guild, they're going to do all the tasks, you're going to get a bunch of keys again. You'll have another chance, it'll be a smaller chance, but you'll still have another chance to get this mythic, uh, even if you didn't get it yesterday, because you can try again next Thursday, get as many keys as you can by then, and try it again, it'll be a less of a chance, because you've already probably spent your stockpile if you didn't get it, but, uh, you know, your guild will do a bunch of guild tasks, you'll get a decent amount of keys, not as many as you probably had, but you'll get one more little shot at it, and, uh, hopefully you get it then, um, let me turn on, oh, wow, that's turned on already, oh, I like it, nice. Alright, well, let me get in the chat then, and we'll get started. Uh, I better do my cardio. We got our magic medals on. Yeah, I appreciate it, uh, Elite Gaming, always commenting and being the first one usually shows you're paying attention. Oh, I got my magic medals. Okay, let's go knock out the dungeons just to make sure we don't forget. Like to keep that habit. Trophy Phonesia. And I figured out what was wrong with my uh, Diablos. Uh, I figured out was what was wrong with my Phonesia team. Uh, my Diablos Phonesia. I remember I was saying how it wasn't hitting as hard. It's because I changed it. Uh, there must have been a campaign task or something, and I changed. Um, like the storm, I think I changed the storm, and I changed I changed the talents basically in the Diablist for something, probably a campaign task, and then I never switched it back. So I was running this without a firestorm, uh, without like plus red, you know, without plus magic to red, uh, without like a few things. So it was that's why it wasn't one shotting. Now it does again. So I just wanted to say that. What up, Hakuzo? Took me 30k guild seals to get it. Dang, you had 30k guild. That's pretty good, dude. I need to turn down this headphones. Okay. I don't need to hear Gems of War. If we were playing uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, then yeah, I'd want to hear it. But uh, Gems of War I've heard for four years now. I don't need to hear any of this noise. Boom. See, it's one-shotting. I mean, it usually does, but like the last dungeon, it wasn't. Because I had my talents all messed up. So remember, if you're using a class and you just keep using the same one over and over and over, sometimes go back in there and just make sure you got everything right. Because you know, you never know. Uh, you could have switched it for a reason, like a campaign task. Um, like I think I changed the Summer's Fury to like a like this ain't even like the best weapon for this team. I just use it because I've always have. Um, and I think I changed it to like a a uh, piece of jewelry or something for a campaign task, and then I changed something else because of something else, and then eventually it all snowballed into my Diablos being all screwy. Hey, what up, Michelle? 40? Oh, 4,000, yeah. Well, was that four tries at it? That's, that's, that's about how many, uh, it took me 7,000, just for reference. Last time on the Mythic, it only took me 1,000. It, it was my first try. I was really happy with that one. This one, I was still happy with 7,000. I only had to hit the button seven times. 
Um, but yeah, that's what we save up all our keys, all our seals for. Campaign tasks, do not... Yeah, they're not... I don't think uh, that part of the game is in uh, Switch yet. You guys are like nine months behind, something like that. Uh, so you're just now getting like uh, Barbarian and... Um, uh, you probably... I don't know. You still need a bunch of factions. Like I think we still need factions too, but you guys need quite a few more than us. You guys aren't on the uh, campaign stuff yet, I don't think. The world event campaign stuff, just count your... T <laughs> That's actually a good thing. You don't want to be on the world event and the campaign tasks. It's not very fun. It's not very good. You're not missing out on much, to be honest. Um, there we go. Remember to check the offer on Sundays, by the way. Don't do it today, though, unless you're super... Uh, you know, want a mythic in the Soul Forge. Like, I, I saw that I need one, actually, and it's too late now, but if I had started at the beginning of the week, I might have been able to get to 4,000 diamonds. Probably would have came up just short, but um, I just realized I need a Champion of Guard, and it's too late now, and no big deal. I don't care. This guy is not very good, but he's one of, like, six mythics I need. So, I wish I could have got him, but no such luck. I don't have enough diamonds right now. I'm still at the point in the game where I don't have way too many diamonds, and and I don't even want to be there, really. Uh, people get to that part of the game like they're trying to get to that part of the game where they have way too many resources. And uh, I think it's better to be like right where I'm at in the game, where you usually have enough, but you don't always, and sometimes you don't, so that way you're always going for something. If I had everything and didn't need anything, and I had, like... 12,000 diamonds and I could always get every single mythic I wanted like I don't think I'd have as much fun in the game if I like already had every single thing and overflowing with resources that would not be as fun like I would have nothing to chase and uh let's see campaign test don't seem to be uh, basic code is there we got okay yeah I'm not uh you guys need a uh, streamer for Switch, you know? I try to do my best. Like, I'll do the, um, spoilers for your, for you guys. I do the spoilers on Sunday for Switch. And then, um, all my, like, normal guides will apply to you guys. Like, the top ten epic troops and the soul farming guides. And, uh, like my evergreen videos will, will apply to you guys. But the, the, the day-specific events don't. So, like, when I did the Tuesday video where it was the world event team and the faction assault team you guys can't do nothing with that until it comes around for you which you have to go back and search for it um but um sometimes the class events will line up and they'll be the same like last week was oracle i think or something and it lined up or was that this week uh this week was dragon guard but last week was uh I think Oracle or something, and it lined up for everyone. So, um, I can help you guys out like twice a week, basically, usually. But the other days, it's only PS4, Xbox One, PC, and mobile. But in the future, if you remember, you know, if you take the extra time to search my channel, you can actually find, uh, older videos that would help you with, uh, video, like, events in the future from now. Like, I probably made a video you need um, today, uh, nine months ago, or, you know, three months ago, something like that. So if you really look, you can find videos that will help you, even on Nintendo Switch. Um, they're just a, a big delay. Like, today you guys have, um, I don't even know what you guys have this week. I forget. I went over the spoilers, but it's been all the way since Sunday. What do you guys got today? No, I mean, I do have a connection problem. Uh, za, za, za. Here, let me get in the chat, guys, because I'm missing, uh, some chats here. Um, let's get started on this, though. Um, oh, you got Flame of, uh, oh, you, 
I also got Flame of Anu in 4,000 guilds. So awesome, Vishal. I read that wrong, Vishal. That's awesome. You did better than me. Um, You said your PS4 crashed. Do you have connection problem? My game don't stop reloading, and I have blue screen sometimes. Uh, I actually talked to my internet service provider, and they said the PS4 has like a terrible um, Wi-Fi uh, antenna or whatever they're called. They just said it has a terrible one in there, and that's the reason it always loses connection. But that's not my problem. Mine's like an error. I get an error like every freaking day. And it's been happening for years. It's not like it's something that's new that I'm worried about. But um, I don't know. It just crashes every once in a while. Like once a day. It has more problems than just that. Um, it does have bad internet connectivity problems but usually once I start live streaming it, it stays on I got a land cable uh, into it because of that problem the Wi-Fi problem was terrible so I had to put a cable uh, it's jacked straight straight into the modem right now that's why I don't lose connect uh, my connection while I'm live streaming but like the game will crash and the ps4 will crash it's not not the internet sometimes I don't know, it's just, uh, it's old. I've had it for a long time. I've had it since, uh, Bloodborne came out. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it, to be honest. I clean it. I've been cleaning it every, like, once a week. I'm usually not good at that, but ever since, um, it started acting up, I've been cleaning it. And I try to keep it out of, like, the, the direct sunlight, and, like, I try to... It's not, like, in a constrained area it has air flow like i don't know I, i've had so many systems over the years i know what not to do but it seems to be like an internal memory problem or something i don't know um can you try my tower team two times cloud stalker ferocity and skeletons yeah i'll definitely try just let me uh, get this, uh, let me get my cardio done. Remember to repost it. I can look back in the chat, though. Uh, this is my class level team. Black Manacles, Phoenicia, Tink, Steam Whistle, Leprechaun, Explore 5, one hit kills. Yeah, Phoenicia is good on Explore 5. That's like what she's made for. And you get two trophies on, it, on difficulty 5. It's the first... Like, you go one to four, you only get one trophy. But as soon as you hit five, you get two trophies. And that's why you... That's where she's best. If you want to get trophies. Like, there's no reason to really get trophies. To be honest. It's all e and flexing. Like, you don't get anything for being number one guild in trophies. They should add something like that, though. Like, if you're the number one guild that week... They should give you something extra. Every every week you're number one, they should give you something. That would make people chase trophies harder. It's kind of like the arena event. They need to make a leaderboard for that. It would make it more interesting. Oops. I already had Phoenicia. And I did Leprechaun anyway. Skeleros. Okay. I wish I'd found your channel when started out. Gems of War. Great tips, advice. Yeah. I feel you, man. I got lucky and found uh, what's his name when I first started. So that's like one of the first things I did when I started playing. I looked up, looked it up on YouTube, found the main dude that plays it, and uh, started watching. This type of game is not spoiler. You don't get spoiled by people on the internet. There's no story. There's no. It's a gotcha game. So. I didn't feel bad looking up somebody on the internet to teach me how to play it because they're not going to spoil anything. But yeah, they need an arena leaderboard that gives good rewards and then they need to tweak the the Valor rewards. They're way too far out. It took me way too long to get two sets of Ritz. I did it, but I felt like I was wasting time, like my life, doing it. Uh, here, let me do, uh... Let me 
do one of these moves. <clears throat> Pin message. Don't forget to hit like. And if you're not subscribed already, would appreciate it. Some people actually watch on PS4. And I don't know. That's not really where I'm targeting my audience. But uh, if you're somehow watching on PS4 right now, check me out on YouTube. That's where I do everything. You can only see probably this each week if you're watching me on PS4. Because everything else I mark as private until I release it on YouTube. So this is probably the only thing you get to see each week if you're watching on PS4. There's uh, six other videos at least. I've been doing nine a week. But Final Fantasy VII Remake is over because they won't let me capture it. I even tried a live stream the other day. Just to see if I could somehow... Because when it happened, I was doing a pre-recorded video. And uh, it stopped recording because it entered a blocked scene. So I looked it up on the internet and I figured out, oh, I can't, I can't even do that. It's, I can't capture. It's, it's blocked due to spoilers or copyright or something stupid. So I tried a live stream the other day just to make sure I wasn't capping, you know? When I said I couldn't finish it. Hey, I got a level... Uh, yeah, so let's go do the invasion event, and we'll try Vishal's team. I guess I'll show my team first, then we'll try Vishal's team. Where am I at? Where am I? What am I doing? Guild? Ain't, no, not ancient history. Come on, bro. Invasion. Alright, invasion! We did a lot of it yesterday. Let's collect this. Was it Saturday? Eh. It's early in the morning Saturday. That's probably about right. I was hoping that axe that they give us in the shop, I was hoping that would work well with Ferocity. Even though Rage Reaver's like already perfect. I was hoping that would work with Ferocity. That way people would have another option. But it doesn't. But here's my team. This team is awesome. Uh, whenever you can use it, the only, people, only question people usually have is where can you get Rage Reaver? And at this point, you can only get it in the Soul Forge. And it comes around like once every... There's however many weapons. And however many weapons get released each week in the Soul Forge. I think it's like four, maybe three. So you gotta divide all the weapons by three or four that are on rotation in the Soul Forge. And that's how many uh, weeks it could take before you can get it. That's what the rotation is on. So say there's 100 weapons in the soul, in the drop table. Divide that by 4, because that's how many come out each week. It could take up to 25 weeks for you to get the Rage Reaver, because it could come out the first week, it could come out the 25th week. It's all up to RNG. Uh, so you got to wait. you got to save your 300 diamonds. And when it is in there, I'll definitely let you know on uh, Monday... I'll say, hey guys, the Rage Reaver's there. You better get it because it's really good with the Ferocity team. It's the best weapon for Ferocity, and it's not going to come back around for another 25 weeks, which is crazy. That's like six months. So I may be, you know, I'm using just made up numbers in my head, but it's probably something like that. There's probably around 100 weapons, and they probably get, there probably is like four a week. So it's something like that, pretty close. But this is my team. I'll show it real quick, and then I'll show uh, if anybody has an invasion team besides Vishal. We'll show Vishal first, because he asked first. And then if anybody else wants... The deeper you get in this event, <clears throat> the more you want to cast like the axe first, just to get some extra turns to make your ferocities hit harder. See there, now got a bunch of extra turns. Trying to build my stats up. It's not about getting ferocity up. It's about building your stats. Then you can one-shot. Boom, 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 boom. That took three casts. Do another one just to proof of concept here. Uh, my story was press square to skip. Are you getting Assassin's Creed? What would be your placement for Final Fantasy VII if you 
have finished it. Yeah, I haven't even finished it yet, so I need to finish it. And then I'm going to do some weird video summarizing, I guess, that nobody's going to watch. But I, w I won't feel complete unless I speak on it after I beat it, you know? So I can say, hey, this is what I like, this is what I didn't like, this is what happened, and react to the ending. I hear that the part two is going to probably be on PS5, which kind of stinks. That or it's going to be on both. But if they put it on both, it's it costs them way more money and time. So, I don't know. If it's on PS5, that's going to stink. I can see why they would do that, though. But I've heard... I, they haven't decided yet, I guess. It could be on PS4. And, uh... But why would they do that when they have the, the PS5 to work with? Um, or it could be on PS5. Or it could be on both, you know? If it's on PS4, I think that's the best way they could do it, because you could still play it on PS5. It's backwards compatible. So then everybody could play it if they just released it on PS4. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, um... Why would they do that when they have access to better hardware? I don't know. I was reading an article about it. I'm sure you guys have seen that article. It's like a ad on Yahoo or something. Or Google. Okay, so let's try Vishal's team. Two times Cloud Stalker seems to be pretty... I've seen other people do that too. Uh, Cloud Stalker, Cloud Stalker. What do you say? Skeleros. And what? Sunweaver? Can't remember. Ferocity. You know, I'm not a big fan of using the Guardians, uh, not in threes, but I know it works sometimes. I'm not an Assassin's Creed type of guy, Rock Stomp. I appreciate it. And I watch people, I would watch somebody play it, and I've had it, I had a certain one before, you know what I mean, I've had them before, like, I don't remember exactly which one I had, and I've played it briefly, and I'm not opposed to it, and I would probably like it if I played it, but I've just never sat down and played it for more than a few minutes, and there's so many games in the world that I would probably play before Assassin's Creed, but I still... If I had already played all these other games that I want to play, I would probably play it. Um, so, you're not using your hero? Do you have all your hero classes totally leveled to 100? So that's usually when you don't use your hero. That would be amazing, dude. I, I feel like I always need to use my hero because I want to level up the classes. Um... I'll just pick a uh, banner. Double red for sure. I would advise people to use their uh, cl their hero though unless they got every single class at 100 because it just takes so long to level up all your classes that you never want to not do that and except for like in Guild Wars when it is beneficial. Yeah, I mean, my advice to people most of the time is to always use your hero. It's strong, and um, and you always need hero experience. Class experience, I mean. And right now, you get none. You're getting none. Uh, let's see. It's always nice how the uh, invasion captain just... The skulls. The skull damage is amazing. Double the number of skulls on the board, then create two skulls. Yeah. Bang. Uh, let's see. We need red, green. Or skulls. Boom! Too bad those are the two towers that have skull defense. But they're the only one that has that. Uh. Red and green. Yeah, most people that, um, most people that use a 
team like this would already have all their hero classes to 100. Like, what's his name does that? Because he's already, he already did, that. like, he made that a, a goal of his to get all, all his classes to 100. So now he doesn't need to use his hero class ever. If he doesn't want to, some of the time, it's the best way to go. Classes are really strong. Hero is really strong. So, 90% of the time, you're going to want to use your hero, even if you have every class to 100. Because then you can use whatever class you want. You can use the strongest class, because you don't have to worry about getting class experience. But if you're like me, and you only have, like, half the classes to 100, if that... I'm always worried about leveling my classes. Like, it's a always a thing to me. Like, never something I don't do. Kind of like Adventure Board and Dungeons. I should probably make that a thing I start saying. Like, I stress doing your Adventure Board and Dungeon as Gems of War cardio, quote, unquote. Maybe I should start adding Always Use Your Hero to that. Because it's definitely something newer players probably don't do. This is good, though. I just feel like, oh, man, I need to use my hero. I need to use my hero. I need to use my hero. Hey, guys, thank you so much. Dang. Coming in straight away, throwing money at me. Appreciate it. Uh, I still don't have a mythic troop yet. I have like 15 legendaries. Hakuzo! What level are you, Hakuzo? Uh, nice work, Vishal. He's ranked 50 in Xbox. Elite Gaming would, would watch whatever if I played Assassin's Creed. Vishal says, but big problem is I forgot about new faction and consecutively new bounty. Hope. Nope, I will use hero in different event. John! Thank you so much, John. It says spoiler alert. <laughs> Kimmy, thank you. What is that? What, you doing like a... That's a good move there. That's like a dance move. Kimmy's up and up doing a, doing dance moves. Morning, John and Kimmy. Thank you for uh, joining me and for the super chats and stickers. Or super stickers, I think they are. I always get them confused. Definitely help. Makes me feel like I'm doing something here. That's kind of like a, just a thought I've been having lately. I wish this would just... Ugh. If, if this doubled, would it be crazy? Like, if my numbers doubled, would that be a crazy thing? Like, a crazy miracle that would never happen? I've just been thinking that lately, like... If I get 500 views a video, would it be crazy if I got 1,000 a video? If I got 3,000 subscribers, would it be crazy if I had 6,000? I don't think that's too crazy. Like, that's all I'm asking. Like, when I say I wish this would, like, hurry up and happen, I'm not saying, like, I want 20K and 5,000 views a video. I'm saying, like, how about 1,000 a, a video and, like, 5,000 subscribers? Like, come on. Not not to you guys, like just to uh, when I'm when I'm frustrated and screaming at the wind. Like this needs to happen soon, please. And uh would it be crazy if uh when I get five hundred that I would get a thousand and when I have three that I would have five you know, is that crazy? I don't think that's crazy. That's all I'm all I'm saying when I say I wish this would hurry up and do something. Um, and it sounds like I'm being, uh, ungrateful, but it, if I had only been at this for six months, then yes, that would be ungrateful, but I've been at this for, like, four years, so, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm gonna, uh, switch. Does anybody else have a team? Invasions! Hey, what up, Trey? We got the members coming through. <clears throat> Sliding. Kimmy, Trey, John sliding through thanks again Kimmy and John I really appreciate that uh, let's see everybody check out Kimmy she has a channel she does gems of war among other things fall guys I think that's what it was I don't know I watched the gems of war one 
Okay. So what I would probably do with this team, you could just do, like... I would take Ferocity off, and I'd just put on a class. And I'd probably use, like, Shaman. I know it's not... I probably shouldn't be fixing your team or whatever, because if it's working and you're on the leaderboard, then who am I to say that you should change it? Um... But I'd probably just throw the Rage Reaver on here. At least give some people more options, I guess. Take this, put it here. Um, class, I do Shaman. And Banner, double red, green. Minus blue. I don't know if I'd minus blue anymore because of my axe. Uh, I definitely want double red. What color can we minus? Yellow? Minus yellow. Is there? Double purple, red, minus yellow. That's it. That's poop. So now I might want to look at minus yellows. Just to see. I like the minus. We got blue, green, red, purple, brown. Did I just... That's not what I wanted to do. I just want to X that. Then hit triangle. So now we can see all of our options. We, really, we need like a double green. If it's not going to be double red, then how about double green? No? Really? So they're just not a good one for this. So, huh. Definitely want to do a double red then. You just have to find the best one that isn't screwing everything up. I guess that was right then. Double red, brown, minus purple. We could do that. Sucks for Skelaros, but uh, I'd rather minus that than Rage Reaver. Rage Reaver's going to be making a bunch of red for everybody. So that's what I'd probably do. Shaman, double red. Uh, What is it doing again? Double red, brown, minus purple, I guess. I don't know. It's not the best ever, but... That's what I would do. If I wasn't going to do triple ferocity rage reaver... And once again, you could take this off and put whatever here. Put, uh... Put, um... You know, mang... Earth's Fury probably be better since you're using Cloudstalker as your tank. Probably Earth's Fury. Trickster Shot. Even Mountain Crusher. One of those type of weapons. Uh, I think Rage Reaver is the best, though. And Flamifer is like a budget Rage Reaver. And then Summer's Fury is an even more budget Rage Reaver. Uh, I started the new job this week, so I'm a little bit tired. And But you're liking it. That's good. No problem, Kimmy. Uh, level 236, says Sakuzo. Yeah, that's, how, that's about how it is. You're not going to get too many Mythics until you hit at least 500, I'd say. You... Probably 750, to be honest. I wouldn't be looking for more than just a chance mythic that's random until you hit, like, 5 or 750, something like that. Right now, just concentrate on getting legendaries and epics. Go do all... Make sure you got all the free epics you can get. There's some good ones in there. I did a video on that. Make sure you can just open everything up. I know you're at 236, so you probably already did all that, but just make sure... Because uh, then you can go in the delves and get troops like King Gob Truffle, uh, the Mirage Queen, Harpy Mage, Gargoyle, um, Queen Beatrix. I would go for all those. Make those your targets. Uh, get in a good guild. Get all the new uh, guild guardians. They're new, quote. You know, they've been out for six, nine months, something like that. But that's what I was saying the other day. If I was going to do a new account playthrough... First thing I would do is target Rowan and Elwyn. Then in Mountain Crusher, Rowan, Rowan, Elwyn, Mountain Crusher, Mang, Titan, Sentinel. Then I would target probably Cedric and Skeleton Key and and Thief. And then I would be going down in the under. No, then I'd be getting in like a good guild. And trying to get the guild guardians like Ferocity and Finesse. And then I would go in the underworld and target King Gobtruffle, Gargoyle, 
Harpy Mage. Like, I'm trying to think of how I would play if I restarted. Because I think that can help some people out. Even, even if you're not brand new, I would eventually get to where you're at. So I'm trying to think, like, how I would go through the game now. Because a long time ago, like, there was no class talents or anything. And, you know, and it's totally different from when I started. So I started playing this probably almost four years ago now. So if I was going to restart today, definitely open all my kingdoms, definitely do all the class, all the quests, definitely try to get in a guild, go after Rowan, go after Elwyn, go after Azura, all those. Hopefully I get in a decent guild, then I would start messing with my guild guardians and whatnot, trying to get the skeleton key team, try to get Sentinel, Mang, Mountain Crusher. And then eventually you work your way down into the Dells and you try to get King Gobtruffle. Those are legendary troops. For for level 250 to 500, you should just be concentrating on getting good legendaries. Or any legendary that you can use. I don't even remember what level I was when I got my first Mythic or when I got my first useful legendary or any of that. But it's easier these days because you can target good legendaries in the Underworld. Back when I, back in my day, you couldn't do that. You were just hoping you would get something from chests. But this team's pretty good. Uh, I like the Skeleros. I like that idea of a shell. I like the Skeleros. Like if I had to. If I had to mishmash my team, your team with another, like if I had to mishmash them together, your idea with my idea, I'd probably do this, what I'm doing right now. If I had to mishmash them together. <sighs> I'm trying to level up cities, been focusing on leveling Hall of Guardians, right? Definitely head over to Amnithrax whenever it's available. Go get you a King Gob Truffle. Check out my video called The Best Team of 2020. And uh, try to do, try to get that team. If you can get the King Gob Truffle team, you're done. You got it, you got your team for the rest of the game uh, rest of the game. Pretty much. You only need so many troops, really. And I was saying this before as well. Once you get Ferocity, Finesse, King Gob Truffle. That's going to cover blue, green, yellow, and red. There's only six colors. You already co covered four of them. Of course, when there's crazy restrictions, everybody has to use different different troops. But when you can choose... Ah, I should have cast the Rage Reaver. I was hoping I'd get lucky. When you can choose... There's not a million choices, you know? Wow, I hope this isn't already going down. Super early, 648. Kinda had a hunch last night. Let's see. I don't know why I'm trying to get Rage Reaver up. I should probably be going for my Skeleros. There we go. Hey, what up, Andrew? How are you? Dang, it keeps on barriering. This is why I like my Ferocity team. Oh, uh, there we go. Just need to get some Skulls. Be cool if we had a Skull Storm. Yeah, maybe I'll just switch back to that to finish it out so people know what I'm really recommending. Let's go back to it. If I have to mute up already, I'm sorry, guys. I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't. Been a rough week. Probably why I'm screaming at the wind about... But this is what I was recommending to everyone. 
So I just want to finish it out real quick. Red, double red, blue or brown. Brown minus purple. Yeah, I think it's still fine. Could just do this. Same thing. So you can use the same banner for both teams, and you can use the same class for both both teams. We're just chilling, doing invasions, uh, doing hopefully some new mythic teams. If anybody has uh, any, I got one that D Rock sent me, so we can check that out. If uh, your first mythic was Tina Nine Thousand, that's a good one to get first. Don't forget to hit the like button, says John. I only got two mythics before level 500, Tina and PK. Who's PK? I'm trying to think. Possessed King? TPK? If you got TPK and Tina, that would be amazing. Uh, Akuza, that's the best delve to farm Chaos Shards. Go no higher than level 30. City of Thieves? Yep. City of Thieves. John is correct. I would not go... I would keep that thing at 20. That's the video that plays when you go to my channel. For most people, I think, if you're subscribed. Uh, the best uh, delve to farm. And it's City of Thieves. Pretty sure it's still City of Thieves. They keep putting out new delves. And sometimes they look pretty appealing. But I think City of Thieves is still the number one best. It used to be the Warren. At the very, very beginning, it was the Warren. So I, I put out a, uh, a delve guide, and I had the Warrens as the best one to farm. But it was like the first video I did of the whole series. Because that's the first thing you want to do down there is farm Chaos Shards. And I had to go back and re... I had to make... like Video number six was, hey, this is the real real one you want to farm now because a bunch more have come out since I made that first video yada 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 let's cast Rage Reaver to get our stats up boom now we should one shot and we should be done wow that was close though 11 and 5 uh yeah, Tina and TPK, if that's what you're saying, that was that's those are really good. First two to get. Um Yeah, luckily really good mythics. Tina nine thousand is a great one too to get first. Skeloros is the spice in my team as well. Yeah, I like I like that idea. My cheap soul team is Phylactery, Warg, Banshee, White. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do a cheap soul team. Not everybody has Ferris Ra. I remember using like Triple Warlock uh, Valkyrie a long time ago. I checked out a three years old Guild War battle. <laughs> Dude, definitely. My mic has changed. Just my. You get better at doing this. Not that I'm great at it, but I was definitely worse at some point. There's some of them where I'm pretty much whispering because I'm. Got like a sleeping baby next to me. <laughs> Some of them were pretty much whispering. Uh, what up, Andrew? If I didn't say what up already, I think I did. TPK, going to play badminton. Ooh, some badminton. Getting dangerous. Too energetic for, for John. Badminton's kind of fun. The little birdie that floats in the air and you hit it with that racket. I think that's what badminton is. That's when you play when you're having like a backyard barbecue with the fam. With the extended family, you know? You break out the badminton mitt, uh, the badminton net. At least you can, uh, socially distance while you play that. It's probably the perfect game right now. It's outdoors. And you don't have to be close together. It's perfect. Badminton. Let's get rid of that guy before he casts. And out of here. Hope you're doing alright, Andrew. We're just chilling, do, doing uh, Invasion. And hopefully some new Mythic teams. I have at least one I can, I can go get and bring to you. 
And then I can even make some up on my own. I haven't even really looked at it. I've just put the most minimal amount of thought into it, actually. I haven't put much thought into it besides, hey, I would like to have a burn with this, and I would like to have fairy fire. Even though it does both of those on its own, you kind of want to have like a guaranteed as much burning and whatnot as possible. I've heard it's not that good from multiple people. And usually they aren't, so I believe it. What's the last good mythic or legendary that we, we, we got? I mean, the half start on Undead was okay. Any half start's okay. So we'll always take that. There's no barbecue unless I say there's a barbecue, says Tim. What up, Tim? U7. My Rowan team is Golden Cog, Clockwork Sphinx, Rowan, and Lep. That sounds about... That sounds good. If you can go get the Mirage Queen, it will start Rowan with half mana. Badminton is indoors? I've never played it indoors. How do you have enough room to play it indoors? You live in a mansion? I could not play it in, in my place. That's for sure. Indoors badminton? I don't know about that one. You can play it in the gym? We can go to the local high school and play some badminton? Because I don't have a giant auditorium in my house. I could play badminton with myself. I hit it up in the air. Just see how, my, how long I can keep it in the air. For real, John. That's what I'm saying. Definitely not on the gram flexing. Check out my mansion. In a leisure center complex, right? Yeah, yeah. You can play it outside, too. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, though. What's the thing with the birdie that floats through the air and you hit it with a racket? What's that game called? It's got like a... I don't even know how to call it. It's like a little ball on the end of it. And then it has like this... This tail on it, I guess. And then you have a racket and you, and you hit it. And it floats through the air. Is that it? Alright, we're done with invasions. I did every single one of my... I bought up to three... Which is where I recommend, even though this isn't great, you want to get it while you can, because like I said, there's a hundred weapons, and four get released each week. Do the math. This thing's not going to come back around for 25 weeks. Uh, and they've been putting new ones in, in the Soul Forge. Every week, too. Every kingdom has a new weapon. They're not very good. But... If you want every single weapon in the game, I think it was this one right here, this Torque of the Dragon. This was the one I didn't have anyway, that I had to get. Oh, by the way, I got another Orb of Power. So I got five of these now. I got five Orbs of Power. I only need three more to get Enraged Kurandara. So pretty happy with that. I got another Power Orb yesterday, I think. It's pretty nice. I hate that I need this thing and it's just sitting there. I wish I could buy it. It's like one of six I need. We need to be careful with the, uh... The game freezing, by the way. Remember when we do explore and we back out and it freezes? I hope that doesn't happen today. Knock on wood, you know? Well, let's get into, uh... Uh, where are we gonna do the new mythic at that's safe? I guess PvP. PvP? I do need to do my PvP for this week. I haven't done it yet. That's the last thing I do, even though I would recommend everybody gets to Tier 1, whatever you call it, 1900. You get your glory keys. Make sure to do that every week. Uh, where can you look at that? Player versus player. I don't know. Anyway... 
let's go to open. This will be the mythic team for the video. Where's my open slot? I wish they would just give you more team slots. I think you can buy more, but I'm never going to... Especially... That would be the last thing I'd spend anything on. Why would you buy extra team slots? That would be such a waste of money. I'm sorry if you did, but... I feel like that would be such a waste. Badminton, okay. Everybody, let's go play badminton, y'all. Let's go play some badminton. Shuttercock. <laughs> Shuttlecock, I think it's called. Shuttercock. Shuttlecock. Hey, what up, sick? From Russia. Hi, from Russia. You guys have a streamer in Russia, don't you? That's bigger than me. I think he's from from Russia. I'm not 100%. I'm not good with other languages. But there is some some guy. He's a kind of a variety streamer. He's not exactly... I wouldn't call him a Gems of War. You know, I probably would call him a Gems of War if you had to label the guy. He does multiple other things, but... He, he does at least once or twice Gems of War each week. I don't know why I keep talking about... Just because somebody that's ahead of me, I guess. Like, dang, I thought I was going to be number two. But if... I'm waiting for Nimbus and Doomglaive Rage Reaver to come in Soul Forge. Yep. Those are good. Definitely. Those are probably the top three. John's on, on it. John is on it. Those are t t three of the top five, definitely, probably. Last team I have as an experiment is a team like Brown Loop you made, Anu Scepter, Justice, Ice Worm times two. I use Brown Loop on Hall of Guardian. Yeah, that's a good idea. The Ice Worm... Uh, like you, like I did with the, uh, uh, what was it? What's it called? Rockworm? I did triple rockworm with, um, I always forget the stupid thing's name. There's so many weapons I need, says Tim. I need to go and look at these, uh, comments to pull D-Rock's team, so I'm gonna have to get out of the chat. Let me read the rest of the chat real quick. Um... Yeah, that's kind of like my, uh, rockworm team, Hakuzo, so that's a great idea. You get additional team slots as your VIP goes up, says Trey. What up, Trey? Yes, we have two. One is not streaming, and one is crazy in a Rassaboat. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've definitely seen a guy that's got like 4K, at least. I'm serious note if you know how to donate, not uh, adding details that could play. Da, 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 da. Um, I don't know, uh, Rockstomp. Uh, I'm trying to think. You can become a member. You can do a super sticker. You can do a super chat. Um, that's all I really know. The only other thing I could do is like maybe put my PayPal link, but I don't know if I want to do that or not. I sing from Russia with love in my show. Uh, Bear finally has truffle team. Nice. Good job. All right, Hakuzo. Uh, sweet dreams, dude. Uh, let's see. I need to go... Here, let's uh, get Flame of Anu at least. Flame of Anu. Hopefully I can get to the hour mark at least. Oh my goodness. Flame of Anu. Okay, so... I think D-Rock put a team on my last video. I hope it don't blare out. Mute. I'm looking for a Flame of Anu team. Anybody watching that's like, what is this guy doing? Why isn't he playing the game? Doomed Club. I mean, I could make a team, but I already know somebody dropped one in the comments, so let's show their team first. And I'm not, I'm never, like I said, I'm never claimed I'm the most awesome team maker in the world. I'm pretty above average at best at making teams. Sometimes I get really... Sometimes I'll make a 10 out of 10 awesome team. Sometimes I'll make like a 4 out of 10. And I'll realize it's not good and I'll and I tweak it. I'm one of those people that I'll make a team and then I tweak it as I go. Okay, this isn't working so I'm going to replace this. Okay, this class isn't working so I'll put try a different class. Okay, I need this storm so I'll put it in. You know, it takes me time to figure out what's working, what's not working 
what kind of storm I need, what tr this troop isn't doing anything, maybe I should try something else. Like, it takes me time. I can't just think of one right away and it'd be the best team. Uh, Flame of Anu, Doomed Club, Divinish Bala Quillen. Divine Ishbala, that's a good idea, I guess, right? He's usually pretty good at the game. I mean, he's in the number one guild on PS4. Uh, Quillen. And he's invited me plenty of times to join the guild, and I am a big wiener. I'm just sticking with my easy guild, I guess. Just to prevent burnout, like I always say. I don't want to add... I'm trying to... Like, if anything, I'm going to do more for my channel than, than Gems of War. I'm more into my channel than anything, really. Doomed Club, Dragon Guard, or Slayer 100. I don't have either one of those at 100, so that's going to be fun. Vinish Bala... Quillen, Flame of Anu. Two yellow, one red, minus one green. Two yellow, one red. I already got it. Nice. Uh, so Dragon Guard or Slayer is what he recommends, but I might do something different just because, uh, I don't have those at 100. I got Dragon Guard at 40. I really need to level up Slayer. The next Vault Event, I need to either level up Slayer or Frost Mage. I've been doing Warden and Stormcaller and Sunspear and Diabolus. I need to just switch to Slayer and Frost Mage. Because those are two that you definitely need and definitely use. Slayer's on the best difficulty 12 explorer team. And Frost Mage is like the best at Guild Wars defends. And it helps in Guild Wars a lot. The other ones are fine. Like Stormcaller does a Yellow Storm. Sunspear, I already have it at 100. Uh, Diabolus was just the next Red Storm I was leveling up. But I need to switch to... And Warden was like the next Green Storm I was leveling up. But I already have a red storm. I should. I need to switch to frost mage. Like I have warden at 83. That really makes me want to get it to 100 because I'm so close. But I should. I need. I really need to switch to slayer or frost mage. And I think I got frost mage pretty close. See, like Diablos have at 80. That just makes me want to get it to 100. The closer it gets, frost mage 50. That's not bad. I could probably at least get that to 70. That's one thing you can do with your classes, is like get them all to 70 instead of 100. Because 100 sometimes doesn't have the greatest like talent at 100. What am I doing? I'm going to do... I don't know. i probably do a storm color. Look at all that yellow. But what do you actually need with this team? Let me check. I might have to uh, play it for a minute to figure out what I'm what I want. Let's just use it the way it is and then see what happens. But this is the team. Doomed Club. Uh, transform green gems to Doom Skulls. Divine Ishbala. Transform red to Skulls, green to yellow, and chant two random allies. Divine start battle with 40% mana. Purple to red, brown to Skulls. Bless two random allies. It's also Divine. And this is also divine, and it deals 43 damage to the first two enemies. I need to level it up and stuff. So that's the next thing. Hopefully I have... Yes, I do. Burn and fairy fire a random enemy when matching four or more gems. Yeah, frost mage to 70 is definitely something I need to do bad. It's like an embarrassing thing I haven't done yet. If I'm trying to tell other people what to do... Then I should have all the obvious stuff done. So there we go. Got it all fully leveled and traded. So let's see how. Let's take it first spin. Later, Vishal. Thank you for swinging by. I gotta get back in the chat. You guys. 
so I can see what y'all are saying. I can see it, but I can only see a couple at a time unless I'm actually in there on my computer. Uh... I also have a key team, but still no good souls team. Key team is what you would want to use. I made a the best best team in the game video, and the, the whole point of that video was to remind people that using the key team is what you should be doing for a lot of the game. Just because there's people making a bunch of videos about a bunch of different teams doesn't mean you should stop using your key team. You should probably use it whenever you can from level, I don't even know, 300 to to 1,000. Wow, are we going to uh, lose here? Already? Uh, we need to... Hmm. If I do that... I kind of need to screw this up right here. They're going to get an extra turn. Well, they got this too, so... Probably screwed either way. Yeah, they'll do They'll do even worse with Quillen. Let's make sure I don't have an extra turn anywhere. Hmm. Ooh, I just got to survive. Come on. Extra turn, where are you at? Well, at least we got rid of their Divinish Bala. That's nice. Now. We got this. Cool. I don't care about that blue down there. Even though it would have gave us... What's his face? This is like a Divinish Bala Quillen team with uh, this guy tacked on the end. Let's see what it does. Wow, it only did like 49 to that Moon Rabbit. Ah, uh, I think we got this. And we could probably finish him off with... Eh. Better play it safe. Play it safe. Ouch. Um, we have brown to skulls. We have purple to red. But we got this. That. Okay, we won, but it was a little bit shaky. Uh, I just need Ferris Ra. You have Dragon Soul. Well, the new, you know the new um, Soul Farming team doesn't use Dragon Soul. The old one does. I know for years and years and years we drilled it into your head that you need Dragon Soul, Ferris Ra, Azurus, and Umber Wolf. But there's a new one. There's a I made a video on it the the new best soul farming team of 2020. I make teams the same way. Sometimes you hit the jackpot, got it right the first try. I know it takes me a while most of the time. Yep, John, that's what I use. Use a single that's triple skull damage. Yep, Slayer, right? Um, waiting for them to come into the soul forge. Maybe luck. Yeah. Come on, let's see. Let's see if we can beat King Gobtruffle. I have a bad habit of using all my keys as soon as I, as I get them. That's actually not a bad thing early in the game. You only want to start saving your keys late, later in the game. I would save your event keys, but the rest of them, go for it. Uh, if you're still missing epics... If you're still missing epic troops, you might as well go ahead and throw your keys. Most of the time. You're not going to save them up for the mythic, basically. There's nothing really to save them for unless you're saving them up for the mythic or legendary. A new myth mythic or new legendary. And I just started doing that like six months ago. Seven, eight, nine months ago. And look what level I am, you know? So if you're saving up keys and you're not at least the level 1000, I don't think... You should probably just keep throwing your keys and trying to get all the epics, hoping for a legendary... That's what I did, at least. I don't know how I would play it now, but back in the day, I was throwing all my keys. The only one I'd recommend saving is probably your event keys, and then you can try to target certain legendaries. 
But I just, I would throw my glory keys, I would throw my gem keys. I would use my glory on chests. Now I save them up, but that's because I have almost every mythic in the game, so the only ones I definitely need are the new ones coming in. And it's, I can get those way easier than getting a random, out of however many mythics, let's say there's 88 mythics, and I only, I need six of them now. The, le the, the more I get, the harder it is to get the ones I need. There's no way I'm just going to randomly throw keys and get champion of guard out of 88 different mythics or whatever. I'll end up getting one I already have, you know? I'll get Ketris or something. I'll get... There's so many to choose from. But if you save up your keys and when a new mythic comes in, it's the only one in the drop table. But that's for high end. Okay, let's look. We got Divine Ishbala, Red to Skulls, or Yellow, Green to Yellow. And we got Quillen, which is skull, uh, Brown to Skulls, or Purple to Red. I don't think we have any of that. But we can get this guy up. I don't know if he's actually... Like, watch what he does here. 58 damage to the first two enemies boosted by burning and fairy-fired enemies. Like, nobody's burning or fairy-fired. Killed that first guy, though. And I'm just gonna do this. And that. I think with this team here, maybe not the, maybe not the, the weapon. Maybe not the weapon, per se, but... Just a Vinish Bala Quillen, you could probably put any mythic on the end of that. I don't know if this is a team specific to the Flame of Anu. It's just a team where you could put any anything on the end of it, pretty much. Uh I don't know if Dragon Guard's like really helping me do anything. What if I switch it to Stormcaller for a bunch of yellow? Just because my situation with my classes. Frost Mage level 70 is very good. Explode a yellow gem. Yeah, those those are always nice. Uh, see of a shall. Week 10 of the campaign is going to be Kitar. So Ferris Ra is going to be pre pre prevalent. Okay, that grind from 70 to 100 though. Yeah. It's difficult. It's just as long as the grind from... I think what they said is the grind from like 0 to 90 or something is the same as 90 to 100. It's something crazy like that. It might be 0 to 70 is the same as... That sounds probably more right. It's something crazy like that. Like if you When you hear it, it sounds crazy. If you add it up, do the math. It's like the grind from 0 to 70 is exactly the same as 70 to 100. But I think it's even more crazy than that. I think it's like 0 to 90 is the same as 90 to 100 or something. I don't think that's... It's one of the two. It's it's crazy. Whatever it is. I think it's 0 to 70 is the same as 70 to 100 or something like this. If you've never heard that before, it's pretty true. It's something like that anyway. To where the first 70 is exactly takes the same amount of time as the last 30 because it goes up by one every time level one only takes one level two takes two level three takes three level four takes you know what i'm saying so level 20 already you know level 20 took 16 you got to get 16 then you got to get 17 then you got to get 18 then you got to get 19 then you got to get 20 it's not just cumulative 20 it's all of them so it goes up by one each time. So after you do 88, then you gotta start from zero and do 89, you know? Okay, red to skulls, or... Okay, we got green to yellow, so might as well. Uh, we got that. We got this again. We got this. See, I can just keep going and doing this. I, won't, I don't even need to cast that down there. I mean, he's burning and fairy firing people, but we're doing skulls, so that doesn't really help us. But the team is working. 
Uh, we can probably just kill him with skulls. There. So if anybody else has a Flame of Anu team, let me know. Uh, that grind, uh, I don't have a grind stamina. Man, grind is a good attribute to have when playing this game. Some people totally survive off the grind. They're terrible at arena, they're terrible at guild wars, they're not good at making teams, but they're good at grinding. They're good at finding other people that make teams. And they're good at grinding. And that's and they can get through, they can be number one just by being good at grinding. They grind so much gold, so much souls. They grind so much, they just happen to have a ton of gems because they grinded so much, you know? Then they could throw those gems and get extra turns and then grind, grind, grind. Throw gems, get extra turns, more sigils, grind, grind, grind. And be number one on the leaderboard without even being that good at the game. You can be really good at grinding and it looks like you're good at the game. It's kind of a weird thing with these kind of games. You can be terrible, terrible at the game. <clears throat> but as long as you're good at grinding, you can look like you're really good at the game. Because you just keep going, keep, keep, keep going, you know? Instead of punching through the wall, you're chipping away at it. You're using that, you're like Andy in the Shawshank Redemption with the freaking rock hammer. You're just picking at it every day, picking at it every day. You're not the guy that's going to punch through the wall in one punch. You're going to grind it down. Alright, let's see. Red to skulls. Green to yellow. Don't have either one. At least I don't think so. But grinding's definitely a good skill to have. I'm not... It's just as good as being really good at the game. Basically. You can be terrible at this game and just be really good at grinding. And get just as far as somebody that's good at the game. Maybe they're terrible at grinding. Just gonna do that. It looked like it was gonna be a good thing. There we go. Uh, this again. Sometimes I just, even if I don't have alignment, I just cast it. Sometimes. See how I'm not even using the Flame of Anu and we're still winning? Bear I used to, I took the advice from Sinny's Savior Keys and spend a 50 at a time. Definitely. Well, um. Yeah. If you're buying keys with gems, then definitely do the 50 bulks. Because you, um, you save. You save on them. We can go look at chests, though, if you guys want. Just, uh. I, I'm scared every time I back out of anything that the whole thing's gonna freeze. There's my tribute. Good thing I did that. Doing the kingdom challenges is good for your stats. Uh, it's definitely good for uh, resources. I can't remember if you need them for stats or not. I think you need something. I have two triplets, T and E, and Sycorax, but still need 35 other mythics. You're pretty high level, Kimmy. I, I noticed. I saw that on uh, when I watched your video. Aren't you like um, 1,200 or something, or 1,175 or something? Pretty close. Start saving those diamonds. Start knocking them out in the Soul Forge. That way, luck has nothing to do with it. Um, but here's what I think of each thing. Uh, gem keys. Until... If you need more than half of the mythics, and you still need legendaries, and you still need epics, just throw your gem keys whenever you get them. Until a certain level... Once you have more than half of the mythics and you have almost every legendary and you have every epic, there's a certain point in the game where you stop using every single key every time you get it. The gem keys is what I'm talking about right now. Um, I would say if you have every single epic and you have more than half the legendaries and you have some mythics, I don't know, man. You probably want to still throw them even then, just to try to get... You gotta have, I would say, if you have all the epics, 75% of the legendaries, and like 50% of the mythics or something. That's around when you quit. That's when you start saving them, I guess. I probably threw them even then, though. So it's hard to say. But at some point, you do stop 
using your gem keys and start saving them up for the new mythics. Because it sucks when you throw all your gem keys and you get a repeat mythic. Especially a bad one. That's It's like, man, I could have got something I needed. But instead I got Gargantar again. And you're like, dang. So, at some point you stop, but it's it takes a while. You might even get to like 1,200. I don't know. Probably definitely a thousand you could probably throw your gym keys all your gym keys up until you hit a thousand that's for sure i'd say because you probably don't have every single legendary and you probably don't have more than half of the mythics but there is a break point i can't say exactly when but it stops being uh worth it to throw them and hope that you get a mythic you don't have glory keys um these are a little bit easier to come by because you can use glory I, I used to throw them all the time just to get uh, gems and arcane trade stones and, uh, you know, chances at a mythic, chances at legendary. So, I don't know. It's hard to tell you not to throw them until it, there's got to be a break point, though. I don't know when it is. I'm trying to figure it out in my head right now, but I don't know. If you have, like, 75% of the mythics, I guess, and, like, most of the legendaries and you're just going for a couple and you have all the epics once you have all the epics you're going to stop you might not get anything you need when you throw all your keys like so i don't know when to tell you the guild keys is like a more targeted thing if you can wait till level six chests then it get, gives you a more targeted way to go after these things because it takes out the commons it takes out the rares it takes out and then you only have ultra rare epic legendary and mythic those are the only things you can get so might as well throw them because uh you're not gonna get a million commons or rares that you already have i don't know then event keys those are the ones you want to start saving first i'd say out of all of them <clears throat> start saving event keys probably first out of all of them once you're saving event keys that's starting to tell you all right, I could probably still throw all of these, but I'm going to start saving my event keys. So once you start doing that, you can start thinking about maybe saving your gym keys, but it might be a while. I would start saving event keys. Maybe save them up for a while until you an event comes around where you need the legendary, then you throw them, and then save them again until the event comes around where you need the legendary, then you throw them. And then eventually you'll start saving gem keys. I, I think you'll save event keys a few times and get a few legendaries before you'll start saving your gem keys. Um, gold keys, I don't think there's ever a reason to save these. Like, I'll throw these right now. Like, there's no reason to save these. There used to be, like, if a new kingdom was going to come in and you needed commons and rares and all that. To me right now, there's, like, no reason to save those. Just throw them and get gems. You can get a gem here or there by throwing your gold keys. Uh, I mean, you could save your glory up for, for trade stones in the glory shop. But other than that, the only other thing to spend glory on is, is your glory keys. So, if you don't need the trade stone, you can just throw them at the chests. And hope you get that epic you need, or that or a legendary, or, or, or ho hopefully a mythic. But I don't know. That's like a high-level type thing where you start saving your keys. Event keys are the first ones you start saving. If you're not only saving event keys, then I wouldn't start thinking about saving gem keys or keys yet. Until you save a bunch of gem keys a few times in a row. I don't know. That would be my advice. Uh, uh, is it worth doing the challenges? I don't know. If you look at my... Oh no, I hope I don't freeze now. But if you look at my challenges... Uh, I'm in the wrong place. I haven't done all the challenges. I haven't done them all. It's not super worth it to me, and you don't really need them for anything, I don't think. And if you do, then go ahead and do them, but... I don't think the challenges are that great, unless you have nothing else to do. But there's always something to do, I feel like, that's better. If you're doing the challenges... Uh, why aren't you doing like metal farming or delve farming or getting your PvP to rank 1 
Like, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do that's a little bit better than the challenges, I would say. Like always. Unless you specifically need the thing that's in the challenge. Like say you need souls really bad and you haven't done all your level, your, your first challenges. Like each kingdom has its own challenge. And if you need souls and you're doing soul farming, that very first one, this, uh, souls is the uh, reward. So you would take your phylactery or your sacrificial priest team and you would go do every single first challenge on every single kingdom and you get extra souls while you're soul farming. Like that's a good thing to do. Then I think diamonds is on one of them. So if you really, really badly need diamonds, I think diamonds is like the last reward on one of the last challenges. So it's really far out there. But if you need diamonds super bad, you could sit here and do all the challenges and get an extra, I don't know, maybe, I don't think it's a lot. I think it's like 250 maybe at the most. But I, to be honest, I haven't done all my challenges. I did all the soul ones because you, it starts you uh, if you already completed all those, it starts you at, at difficulty 2, and it makes it so you have those already completed. So that's the only one I know I have for sure completed is the first one on every single kingdom. But I, I think it's like the last thing you should be doing is the challenges, really, to be honest. Uh, if you've already done your dungeons, your adventure board, your event for the day, your guild event, um, you already did your three delves for the day, you've already farmed, like, two or three boss chests and you're bored of doing that um, then if there's a challenge that you you need souls or you need diamonds and you know that it's there then yeah and you're bored and you want to try something else or it's just your goal that's your cardio that you're doing you're you're doing dungeons adventure boards and a challenge every day that's your thing but it wouldn't be the first thing I'd recommend I'd probably say hey do a delve instead or hey do a do a boss chest instead or, hey, make sure your PvP's at, at Tier 1 first, you know? But challenges are there if you get bored and you want to do them. It's kind of like Arena and Treasure Hunt. It's there. You can do them. You'll get resources. The only time I really think you would be doing them is if you're soul farming and you're doing all the, the first ones. That's the only time it's really, really, really worth it. And definitely a thing you should do if you're soul farming. Oh, let's see. Should I try to make my own team? I really don't want to. I'm not the best at... Let's try to make my own team. Unless somebody has a Flame of Anu team. But there was that one, by the way. Doomed Club, Divinish Bala, Quillen, uh, Flame of Anu. He suggested Dragon Guard or Slayer at 100. And yellow, double yellow, red, minus green. I was going to try it with Stormcaller and I forgot, so... Oh well. And I just took it off my team. Flame of Anu. I should have left it on. Flame of Anu. By the win. That's the first thing I see in the chat. Looking at the chat. Oh, nice, Bear. See, that's maybe your thing you're doing, dude. That's fine. As long as you have your own thing, and you do it every day, and you're getting something out of it, there you go. But yeah, like I said, if you definitely take what I said, and John did all his, all he got is all his kingdoms to level 10. Yeah. Spend every key. Splurge. Doing tra challenges for trade stones and, and chaos shards. But you can get trade stones and, and chaos shards way faster in different spots. You can do... Uh, you can do explore for trade stones. And you can do dungeon... Or uh, delves for chaos shards. And you get more. So it's not the best place to do... It's not the best place. But if it's your thing, you're going to eventually get them all done. And you, you can say you got them all done at least. And that's pretty cool. Because I don't even have them all done, like I said. It sucks to get double mythic when you need a new one. Yep. Especially if you get one. There's not that many in the game that are good in doubles. Like Ketris maybe. Ferris Ra, I guess. I was only throwing my event keys this week to get my Egg Thief ascended. Yeah. 
Phoenicia and the Soul Forge. She's definitely up there. Up there as one of the top 15. She's so slowly creeping up there. I think they're going to screw it up one day. But at the moment, if you have two Nisha medals, I would say. I always try to... It's not a recommendation to every single person in the game to get Phoenicia because you definitely need to pair her with like two Nisha medals and a level 100 Sun Spear. If you don't have two Nisha medals and a level 100 Sun Spear, you should probably go for like a uh, different. Go for um something different. High King Iron Gut, Wild Queen, Ferris Ra, Catcher's the Bull, even Lord of Slaughter maybe. I might have to mute up, guys. I'm having a pretty bad week. And a awesome weekend, sounds like. Oh, let's see. Uh, what was I looking for? I was going to do Flame of Anu, Burn and Fairy Fire, a random enemy when matching four or more gems, and then it's boosted by burning and fairy fired enemies. And then, what if we start it with 50% with the Forest Guardian? So it's either Forest Guardian or Divinish Bala that you probably want to pair with it. So that would be the next thing, I'd say. Divinish Bala or or um, Forest Guardian, right? So Forest Guardian, all beasts start battle with 50% mana. And this is a beast. I don't know... Transform purple gems to skulls and transform brown gems to green. So that doesn't go that good with it, though. You know what I'm saying? The only thing it's going to be doing is starting at 50% mana. So I guess Divinish Bala is the better way to go. If you had to pick. But this is like better 50% instead of 40%. If you're going to try to use this troop for its thing... But then you're probably going to put Infernus with it, which is also a Divine. So then, you know... <sighs> I'm not great at... Making teams... See, Infernus... Burn all enemies in four or five gym matches. That's just burning a random. So that's only one. But it does both, burns and fairy fires. Then Divinish Bala. It's going to be a slow starter, this. We'll probably have to put a... Probably have to put like a Mountain Crusher or something with it. So now we need... Like, this is looks like it has to be these three, right? This is starting it with 40% mana. This is also a divine. And it burns all enemies on 4 or 5 gem matches. And then this does damage boosted by burning and fairy fired enemies. And it's a divine. Like, this has to be the three, right? Then it would be your hero. I guess with the Mountain Crusher, just to cover brown. Then we could minus green, maybe? I don't know. It's either Mountain Crusher, EOE, Reflection of Good. Could do Reflection of Good, maybe. I always love using Reflection of Good. Maybe we'll try that. Even though I think uh, Mountain Crusher would be better because then you're covering brown. We'll try both. Unless somebody else has a team, you know? <clears throat> Where is it? Or Reflection of Good. I put that in first slot. Um, this down here, maybe. Uh, that's only blue. I don't know. Maybe this. If we're trying to use it, I guess. We'll put it in second. Then what? Do we make our hero a divine so it starts with half, half mana? So what would that be? A priest? Is priest the only divine class? Priest. I got that at 100. That's good. So now we'll start that with half mana start. Gain bonus yellow mana from yellow gem matches. 
Um, give a random ally, random positive status effect. Ten armor if in first, cleanse myself. All allies gain two life. Light storm. Light storm. One magic, bonus yellow, bonus green, all divine gains two life, okay. Hey, good morning, Pamela. Uh, this is what I would do, I guess. At the moment, I might switch out Reflection of Good for Mountain Crusher just to cover brown. And then uh, double red, double yellow, red minus green, maybe double yellow purple. Is there that? Double yellow, purple, minus green. Perfect. Fell banner. I just think the new mythic's not that good, basically. Like in D-Rock's team, it was just tacked on the end, which I understand completely. And my team, when I'm trying to use it, it ends up looking like this. You can get 10 extra event keys each week from the shop from, yeah, if you go to, uh, what's it called? Spoils of War? Can I send a spreadsheet with all the total amount of resources you get from all the challenges? Sure. I only play challenges when I need a few jewels of that color. Yep. Uh, you need medals. Right, medals. Thing. Yeah, medals are more important than the challenges, I'd say. If I had to say. Phonesia, you just need them Nisha medals. Always gotta say that, because it's not gonna be as powerful without the Nisha medals. You can't one shot difficulty five, you can't one shot dungeons, you can't one shot all the way to six on pets. Um That's why you need Nisha medals and maybe a certain amount of magic too, like all your kingdoms leveled up and whatnot. It took me a minute. I got Phonesia and when I first got it I couldn't user correctly because I only had one Nisha medal and like then I got a Nisha medal and a Nisha badge and then it started kind of working but it it doesn't fully come into its own until you get at least two Nisha medals I would say and then now I have three Nisha medals and a ton of magic and it works awesome but it's definitely like hey get Phoenicia but do you have this yet do you already have this get her if you have two Nisha medals and Sun Spear to 100. Because she definitely needs Sun Spear. She needs a Firestorm. She needs a bunch of red on the board. She's really bougie, like I say. She's Rowan, but super bougie. She needs a bunch of stuff just to work. To be happy, she needs a whole bunch of stuff. That's the definition of bougie, pretty much. Uh, what do we do? Purple? Or red? Uh, I would say purple. She's like the definition of bougie. You're go you'll be slightly disappointed if you get her too early. And, um... Or hoping to one-shot like Rowan. You'll be slightly disappointed. We haven't burned anybody yet, so I'm not gonna use that. Uh... Let's get our reflection of good up. So you kind of want to... Here we go. Look, everybody's burnt. So let's see how much damage this does when everybody's burnt. Everybody is burnt. How much will this do now? Plus 25. So it's only doing like 78. That was enough to kill. But this is only a tro one trophy PvP. That was enough to kill, but it's a one trophy PvP. Uh, let's see. We're getting extra turns off Divinish Bala, so that's that's okay. Um, if I would have took that the other way, it wouldn't have been an extra turn. If you saw that, then you you know the intricacies of the game. If you noticed that, if I took that the other way, it wouldn't have been an extra turn. And I do that a lot. I'll make that mistake sometimes. Okay, he's burning and fairy fired. It's only plus 10. Oh, right, because there's only one enemy left. 
But the fairy fire might take care of them. Oh, 94. I mean, this is what I would do. I don't see there being that much... I could maybe switch the weapon. What else can you do, though, really? You need metals. Yep. I do delves. PvP is rank 1. I got as far as I can with the guild stuff. I do my adventure board every day. I get bored, explore. Yep. Hey, do your own thing, bear. As long as you're doing something every day, do it. Whatever it is. If you're doing challenges every day, do it, dude. Don't let me stop you. As long as you're doing something. If you're doing adventure board and dungeon and then something every day, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. Garg says, I've played this game three years with my girlfriend. We are both over 1,100 level. Two years ago, we started a new guild, and right now we have 100k trophies, but it's going so slow because we don't have members. Every week, sir. Uh, how to get more people to guild? We play in mobile. I would say go to Gems of War forum, Garg, and uh, put your guild on the forum and say you need members. And that's where almost everybody does it. The only other place people do it is on uh, global chat. So go into Global Chat and say, hey, we have this guild, we have these wrecks, does anybody want to join? But Gems of uh, War Forum is, is the best place to go for that. You just make an account, you make a post saying, hey, this is our guild, this is our wrecks, if anybody wants to join. What up, Pamela? That's how to get the medals bare for the same as you, get a little, little explore, medals. Yeah, it gets boring, but you know how it is. A lot of things in this game are grind heavy, and it's going to get boring. You just got to keep yourself entertained. That's what I'm saying. If you're doing challenges and it keeps you playing every day and you're doing it, then that's good. Uh, it's tough to start your own guild. I know that for sure. I tried to start my own, me and another guy, and it was basically just me and him, and that's it. It's really hard to start your own guild, but yeah, even Reddit too, like Trey said. Reddit's probably... When I looked it up, Reddit was actually more popular than Gems of War Forum as a place to go, but I always see most people doing it on the forum. Like, as a keyword, Reddit is higher up, but I don't know if it's higher up, like, as in a success rate for gaining members. I don't know. I don't know which one's more active. Like, I'll go on Gems of War Forum and there'll only be, like, two or three new posts sometimes and it's usually them complaining about something uh i guess i'll do skulls this is just a rank this is just a one trophy pvp not the biggest test for this team but i'm just getting the feel of it seeing if i like the reflection of good or not we got a red storm right now Summon a firestorm when an enemy dies. Well, that's cool. We need red. And it helps with divinish balos. But this is my best team. If I had to make one. It's working so far. I mean, I could try to move up the trophies. See? But eventually you get trolled no matter what team you're, you're using. Like, String Fiddler could totally... Just uh, loop us to death. And Wild Queen can definitely wreck us. It's the best troop in the game for PvP. Uh, let's do one more on one and then we'll hopefully get some different battles in those other two. Uh, I hope you all have good luck with the new Mythic. Oh no, you didn't get it? Dang. Well, you only there's only the new one in there. Whenever a new one comes out, that's the only one you can get. That's why people save up their keys. Because uh, when a new Mythic comes out, it's the only one available for a whole week. So starting Friday morning, Flame of Anu is the only one you can get. And then ending Thursday at like whatever time, the reset Thursday. When Thursday's over and it's resetting to Friday, that's when you it gets taken out. So from Friday morning to Friday morning, basically, the only one you can get right now is Flame of Anu. So if you're going for any other Mythic right now, you're not going to get it. 0% chance. Unless you're doing event keys. 
And then you can still only get a certain whatever week it is. So it's it's like impossible to get Ferris Ra right now, for example. It's not a Keytar week, and there's and this is the only mythic you can get everywhere else. So right now, if you're going for Ferris Ra by throwing keys, you're you got a zero percent chance. It's not there. Can't happen. That's how it is when a new mythic comes in. That's why people save up keys, because they're guaranteed if they get a mythic, it's that one. And it's the one they need for sure. So they're throwing all their keys at it, because they know if they get a mythic, it's going to be the one they need. Because it's the new one. Alright, everybody's burning. Let's try this guy again. It's getting a kill, but like I say, this is only one trophy but what else are you gonna do with this guy I don't know <clears throat> unless you just tack him on the end of a, a team that's already good I don't know what else you could do other than this this is like for him specifically Divinish Ball is probably the best mana start <clears throat> Furnace is the best burner he needs burn and a mana start and then this is like the only thing you can maybe do something different with, in my opinion. Priest is a divine, so it start, you know, priest is probably the best class. And then you could use Mountain Crusher, Reflection of Good, EOE, Jar of Eyes, blah blah blah. But even like Jar of Eyes is probably not great. Uh, cause it does like a blue storm, and what do you need? You only need blue for the one guy. You'd rather have a yellow storm or, or purple storm. Which priest has a yellow storm? He can get kills, but not. I don't think he would get them on a harder trophy. But Infernus could do damage first, and then he could clean up. I don't know. At least we're using them, right? You still got a chance, though. Uh, you could still get the Mythic all the way till next Friday. So, like I say, on Monday, you're going to get your guild tasks done. You're going to get some more keys. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Hopefully, you got one more chance. It's not as good as if you saved up a bunch of keys for yesterday, but... 20k gold... 20k guild seals. Yeah, mine was 7,000 guild seals. I feel pretty lucky. I'm up to level 1073. I've only been playing six months or so. I still have not got all the troops or weapons that I may need yet. Yeah. At least you know what you're going for, though, John. Some people don't even know what they're going for. Let's go for three Nisha. How long did you need to grind to get your first Nisha medal? I don't even know. Every day. <laughs> every day. At least one boss chest every day. That's how I have... I've probably gotten, I think, four Nisha medals now, maybe. Grinding. I don't know if I've done it every single day, to be honest. And there's days where I do more than that, you know? On average, I've done probably one or two a day since medals have been out. Boss chests. You kind of, it's RNG, too. You got to do difficulty 12. If you're doing some other difficulty, then that's your problem. You got to use a team that's quick. If you're using a team that you just like, then that's your problem. Um, and you got to do it every day. Uh, at least get one boss chest every day. Make it part of your cardio. Or that's your problem. And it's difficult. It took me a while. I just got three Nisha medals like three months ago or something. You could tell. Whatever. You can look on my channel and see exactly when. That's what's good about about my account. Everything's tracked on my channel. If you want to know when I turned level 1000, you could probably go back and find it. If you want to know when I got three Nisha medals, I probably talked about it for two weeks. You can probably go find it. Man, they got Barrier on both of their first two troops. Now they got it again. That was a waste of a turn. I don't remember exactly, but it definitely felt like it took a long time. Let's get Infernus up. 
I don't like their little barrier. Uh-oh. Uh... Let's do Infernus, I guess. This team might beat me. And we're on... <laughs> this team might beat me. Um... Nobody's burning. Let's do this on... Guess you protect myself here. Do we have Divine Ishbala? Yes, we do. Let's do that. Do we have an extra turn? Yes, we do. Let's do that. Everybody burning. Another extra turn. Now, maybe try it. If I'm going, if I'm trying not to lose here, though, I'd probably do Infernus. Thirty. It's going to do 83. So, that's not even a... Eh, it probably might, it might kill that Beatrix. Let's try it. I wish it did something else, like after it casts. You know how Infernus doesn't explode? This thing would be better if it did something after. It deals 53 damage to the first two enemies... Boosted by burning and fairy fired enemies, then it chants itself, or then barriers itself, or then explodes one yellow gem. Like if it had one more thing. Well, I killed the Beatrix. And let's do Infernus. Kind of just using this thing to use it. Uh, let's go for three Nisha. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff, Bear. I understand if you do it every day. You almost can't go wrong if you do whatever it is every day. You could do treasure map every day and get gem more gems than most people. Glitter Claw, Fairy Fire all enemies on its spell. Ooh, yeah, Glitter Claw, but where are you going to fit it in? That's the only problem. Unless I take the hero out, then we won't have any mana generation. All right, dude. Thank you. Appreciate it. If Kitar week is the final week of the campaign, then hey, save up your event keys now. So whatever week it is now, that's how many weeks you have to save up event keys. And you can throw your event keys and get Ferris Ra whenever it's week 10 of the campaign. So let's say it's week 3 right now. I forget. You have seven seven weeks. Mike D. What up, Mike D.? Uh, honestly, I have to say, I have got... Today, uh, hey, John. No problem, man. Glad to help. That's most of the reason why I'm here. I know I say... I complain a lot and whatnot, but... It is nice to hear when people, uh... Oh, I was doing a two trophy. It's nice to hear that. A lot of people come in and say, Hey, I've only been playing the game for six months, and I'm this level, and I have this many mythics, and it's... Because I've been watching your channel. I'm like, whoa. That's crazy. Well, I'm glad I could help. I don't feel like I'm some super duper big expert, but I try. I'm not sitting here um, researching the game all day and every day. You know what I mean? I've just been playing it for a long time. I'm not sitting here on the forum or looking up stuff. Researching it all day or anything. I've just been playing it for a long time. Sometimes I do that, but not every day. Sometimes I'll be I'll look something up and I'll like, hey, I want this and that. Oh, I'm interested in this. If I take blue, I might get. I'm probably gonna get yellow too. Blue, yellow. We would like to get a burn and a fairy fire, though, please. What about? Doesn't Queen Titania do some kind of fairy fire thing? What if you attack it on the end of Yagwe, Queen Titania? Just like we tacked it on the end of uh, Divine Shbala Quillen. Should I just cast it here? There's nothing else to do. I'm going to take brown and get nothing out of it. Might as well do some damage, even though it's not going to be a lot. 
And then they just cast as something useless, so I get to take the brown anyway. Woo! Uh, let's see. More brown. Holy crap. Why is there so much brown? There's not even a poop storm right now. Um, Rock solid is so good, that's for sure. Titan is the first class you should get to 100. 100%. Sentinel's also good if you just, for whatever reason, you don't have Titan. Sentinel's also a really good beginner class. It's not great when you get towards the end of the game. It's one of those things where it's kind of like Elwyn. You know how Elwyn's really good, a really good troop for newer players for early in the game and whatnot. It one-shots early in the game. It's really good early in the game, Elwyn. Till a certain point. Same with Sentinel. Sentinel class. Sentinel class is really, really good early in the game, until a certain point. Then Titan takes over, and almost any time you could use Sentinel, you would use Titan instead. It's still good, I'm not saying it's not good. Like, Elwyn, I would not use Elwyn right now, but I would use Sentinel. It's a little bit different. But most of the time, 90% of the time, you can just use Titan instead of Sentinel. What is up with these colors right now? We're getting green and brown and... Uh, I got ref... Got a red extra turn. Skulls, but I'll just cast this on myself and hopefully... Eh, I don't know. Should I cast that on something else when I do that? Let's do this. We got one guy burned. Woo! Okay, now everybody's burnt. But then you cast Flame of Anu. Like, I could have just cast Infernus instead. I feel like I'm forcing it. Just look at that. Look at that damage. Bang. And he explodes. There's a hole. The damage is going to be higher, most likely. And then he explodes five gems. It does. That's what I'm saying. It does more than one thing. With Flame of Anu, you cast it. Most of the time you don't kill, and then your turn's over. So, I'm not feeling... I'm not feeling it. Let's do this just to get it up. <laughs> oh, Skulls win. Uh, initial medals are so hard to get. I only have one medal and a badge with the Gob Truffle, despite farming Explore 12 daily. Yeah, I mean, it's up to RNG, too. Do it every day, and you'll get it eventually, I promise. Two medals and one, two medals and one badge for Trey. Yep, I was there. I two badges of Anu. Get that third badge of Anu, and you don't have to worry about Anu anymore. Once you get one medal of Anu, that's all you need. And then every one you get after that, you can just use on troops. Cause medal of Anu does not stack. Here, let's do a pet rescue for a change. We can do a speed run. All right. As soon as I click this, no, it don't start yet, right? Uh. Okay. Now, as soon as I click this, it starts. So we'll do it on 153.30 to make it easy. Ready? So we can track it. 153.30. So when I'm gonna hit the button. Loading. 153.30. Come on, bro. Click, 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 click. Rhythmic clicks. Rhythmic clicks. Because the loading's weird. Rhythmic clicks. I need to do Leprechaun right away. Like, who cares about that blue? Rhythmic clicks. The loading's weird. If you tap that X way too fast, I feel like it loads longer. It's not proven. But it's just a feeling I have. If you click it like... I feel like it goes a little faster. If you do this... Then it's not. I feel like it makes it load longer. For some reason, if you... It's probably not true. Somebody will say, no, that's impossible. It don't even track your inputs while it's loading. But it feels like it does. If you hit X a million times a second... 
while it's trying to load. I feel like it makes it load longer. It's probably just in my head, but... Oh, stop it. Come on. Alright, now we got to start taking mana. We can't... We're not going to one-shot on this next one. The world record probably would already be done. That's how crazy it is. I don't know if that Summer's Fury could have cleaned up or not. Let's try it. Ooh, see, I wasted it. I already wasted. I could have done better already. If that, uh... I could have done uh, Summer's Fury instead of Leprechaun. I just wasted time. Give it to me. Oh, you suck. Where is it? Where is it? Oops, I should have took red. Two mistakes. That's what you get when you're rushing. Two mistakes in this one. I can already see it's going to be like a three minute run. And it's like red, yellow, green. Where is it? I don't see it. Is there any? Nothing. You got to get it up because it's going to take two. Taking green kind of stinks because then your leprechaun don't hit as hard. Red, yellow, green. Where is it? There's none there. See, this this is terrible. Terrible. What a speed run. All right, it's over. We ain't getting nothing. Way too long. Goblins. This ain't happening. And he's still alive. <laughs> and he killed my Phoenicia. Nice work. Wow, that was terrible. Oh, well, whatever. You try. You gotta do, like, 50 of them to break your own record, you know? I don't even remember what I was at, but that was way too long. So I don't even care. Rewards. Erskine. Hey, we leveled up Erskine. Erska. Erskine. Erskine. Let's go do that so I don't forget. Have you ever seen somebody get mad at like a four minute pet rescue? <laughs> that was terrible. That four minute pet rescue was terrible. Let's do this. Make sure you always do this, by the way. Uh, I feel like there's things in the game that I do that I don't always show. And this is one of them. I'm always leveling my pets up when I can because you get rewards as you can see over here feed your pets to level them up and increase your pet mastery and gain valuable rewards gain a small gem reward every five levels of pet mastery as you work towards a chaos orb and there's even a major I think at some point I remember getting one at least one so we probably got gems for that Oh, yeah, and our PvP tier rewards. I don't even like collecting those until I got all of them. But there's our five gems for that pet mastery milestone. Probably go back to PvP and do, uh, keep messing with this if, uh, nobody has any objections. I need to read the chat, though. I know, uh... Five weeks from Kitar week. Okay, so you got five weeks to save up your event keys. <clears throat> nice, Bear. Well, get it going, man. Once you get it going, if you get to 100, I'll put you on featured. Anybody that gets to 100 subscribers, let me know. Especially if you're like a member or a subscriber. Like, if you're just some random dude that comes in here that I don't see every day. You know what I mean? Uh, hey Mike, what up, dude? Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. Uh, Vishal says first video he saw was of what's his name, but most he saw was from me. I've been putting them out, man. I've been putting in work lately, every single day. He does them every single day too, and he's been doing it like he's so, like, consistent. I really have nothing but good things to say about him. The only reason I say it, call him what's his name is cuz he did it to me. And it was a mistake and he was probably 
just having a brain fart, but I, it's just a joke. It's not like, it's not uh, a diss or anything. It's just a joke. I can tell what kingdom it is by the background of the image for would you select Kitar and then go to the campaign story and just jump ahead you see what kingdom it is. Sentinel is war specific. Yeah. I found a new emoji for Vishal. Badminton. <laughs> That's awesome. Cheers for that tip, Cinny. Yep. No problem. What if you use Phoenicia with Flame of Anu? Hmm. What's she gonna do that helps it, you know? Uh, next week is Drakzum with Swords Edge, Drifting Sands, White Helm, then Kitar. Drakzum, that's, uh, what, like Glaceon? Cheers, Bear. I finally took time to upgrade my kingdoms. 400k souls went down to 30, yep. That's what happens, but upgrading your kingdoms is really smart. Super smart. A lot of people totally ignore their kingdoms. And then they say, why do you do this much damage and I only do that much? And I say, upgrade your kingdoms, get in a good guild. And those are two things that people just ignore. They they just join the first guild they see, and nobody's doing anything. And and then their kingdoms, they get to like level 5 and kingdom power 3 or something. And then they just totally forget about it and ignore it. But it's a really important part of the game. It gives you stats. You can get a ton of magic just from leveling up your kingdom power. And then... It makes your battles way easier. It's not just a tedious thing to do for no reason. Like, it's, it gives you way more magic. I have 51 magic right now. How much, you know? What do you got? You know what I mean? For the people that say... And I don't even have all of it. I probably mi I'm still probably missing one or two here or there. Because sometimes you need mythics to level up your kingdom power. And it's impossible to just... Go get a mythic right now. Some of the things that the kingdom power thing asks you to do, you can't just go do it right now, you know? You can't go level up a pet to 20 right now. If you don't have a pet rescue for that specific pet at this moment right now when you're thinking about it, then you can't do it. There's some things they ask you to do on the kingdom power thing that you have to just remember, okay, next time I see that pet, I might consider throwing gems at it because I want to level up that kingdom really bad. Or, uh, you know, get the mythic from the kingdom. You can't just do that right now. You gotta remember that you need it. Make it something that you're remembering. Like, hey, I need this mythic to level up that kingdom. To get that kingdom power, to get an extra magic. And just know which kingdoms give you magic, too. Only certain kingdoms give you plus magic. Only certain kingdoms give you armor. Only certain kingdoms give you HP. They each have their own. Alright, we have no burn or fairy fire, so I don't want to do... Flame of Anus. It's pretty, it's pretty much Anus. It's pretty bad. It needs something else. It needs an, an Infernus thing. It needs an Explode. It needs an Enchant. It needs a uh, something, a barrier even. It needs something else. Red to skulls or yellow or green to yellow, we don't have. We have burn though, let's kill Cedric. Now we have it. And, and, let's do this. The little bandit's gonna make it take longer. A little jerk. A little battle extender. A little battle extender. Bang. So I'm doing a uh, two trophy. Uh Yeah, Glaceon is is a decent legendary. One of the top. Definitely in the top. Phoenicia, Flame of Anu, Fairy Fired, Heavy AoE damage. AoE damage. You need to look at overall magic stat on other page, right? Yeah, I was just saying, as an aside, as like a right now, like, hey, I got this, what do you got? I wasn't like saying that's my magic. My magic. Only five kingdoms give magic. Yep. 
They're all in the same little area on the map, too, pretty much. There's one off to the side, like Silverglade, I think, is way over on the other side. But they're mostly all in that same little area of the map. If you look at it, I don't know exactly every single one of them. I did at one time because I made a video on it, but it's like they're all like right here. If you look at them, if you just check all the ones right here, that's where they are. Like Darkstone, I think. Uh, <clears throat> I think Karakoth, Zalkari. They're all like in this area. And then there's like Silverglade up here. I don't want to go clicking on them and clicking off them because it'll maybe freeze. Uh, probably just keep PvPing with this team here and let's try a three three trophy. Let's really uh give ourselves a challenge with this mediocre team. I'm not saying this is good to anyone. Anybody watching after the fact, this is just what I came up with for the new mythic. I'm not saying it's good or anything to go use it on anything. It's almost a purple guild wars, but you'd have to take the one troop, the new guy off of it. Uh, I guess yellow guild wars, but no one would want to use this for guild wars. It's not good. I'm taking the red, not the skulls, when I do this. And the blue. And the yellow, and the red, and the red. But I'm frozen. Alright, they're burning. I almost just want to do Infernus because this team could actually wreck me if I don't play my cards right. I'm doing Furnace first. Hope they don't kill me with uh, Yao Guay. Ooh, that's two in a row. <clears throat> yeah, see? Unbreakable. This is what happens when you start messing with the big boys. With this mediocre team. Come on, hit the first two. Oh, come on. Uh, we might still win. Crazy. crazy. I think we won. Wow. Three trophy down. That was uh, Infernus, though. That wasn't Flame of Anus. Uh, I found your tip on leveling up the kingdom in the following. Magic, attack, life, then armor. Yeah, that's what I'm uh, pretty, pretty... I'm not 100% on that, but that's what I... Magic is 100% number one. And then my theory was offense over defense. So, attack was number two. And then my theory was life is better than armor. And then armor's the worst. The only thing armor's good for is Rowan and troops like that. Some people will say armor is better than, you know, armor's better than I have it. I don't know if it should be number three or number two or what. Just for Rowan. Like, that's the whole reason that they have. Only one troop. So, I still stick with my magic attack life armor in that order. Because Rowan, you can't use every single... You can't use Rowan every single battle, every single wear for every single thing. But I get what they're saying, that armor can help it do more damage. So it is kind of an attack stat when you use it with that troop. Alright, let's try this one more time. Another uh, three trophy. We almost lost the last one. Let's go again. Uh... Yep, Silverglade, Zolkari, Blighted Lands, Karakoth, and Darkstone. Yeah, I wish I could drill that into my head so I could tell people with more confidence which ones is the Magic Kingdoms. When I was doing, I have a whole video on that, how to get stats. It's, I would watch it. Anybody, everybody should watch it. Even if I didn't make it, I would tell everyone to watch it. It's how to get stats. I get that question so much. The question is, how come your Gobtruffle does this much damage and mine does this much? Or how come your Phoenicia does this much damage and mine only does this much? Yeah, but yours does this much damage and mine only does this much. That's why. Like, you could be the same, you know? Just go level up your stuff. You're totally ignoring your kingdom power. And you don't even know it. That is important. And then you're in that guild that you've been in since 
two years ago, and you, you and you and five other people are the only people doing stuff, and that's why you're suffering and your stats are less, and that's why mine does this and yours does that, because I moved on from that crappy guild. Should I try this thing, man? <clears throat> only plus fifteen. That's not worth it. What's this gonna do? Yellow to purple. Yeah, let's take this purple. And I, I let's get up. Uh, eh. yeah, let's do this. Ooh, and we got it right back up. And now Infernus is enchanted. And now two people are burning. Let's cast it on myself now. Now Infernus is up. Still not everyone burning. I don't know. Maybe some of them have a uh, immunity. This is three trophy. Uh, can we win? Can we win three trophy twice in a row with this this team? Oh no, they got the orb weaver thing going on. I don't know if I can combat that. This might just be one of those where you can't win. Well. Get rid of that death mark. This might be one of those that you can't win. Uh, luckily, hey, that thing hits first too. I think we're good. We're all webbed up, but no big deal. We gonna win another three trophy? I did that. That's funny. Four damage. I cast while I was webbed. Hilarious. Let's get rid of that web. I don't like it. Ha, it killed itself with reflection. Two rights in it. I was doing true damage for most of the game, so armor was no threat, right? HP, you can't get around HP. You can get around armor. That was my theory, you know? Attack is Blackhawk, Druk, Zum, Force of Thorns, Cinema Mirage, Suncrest, and Wild Plains. One time my baby dragon went into the World Breaker and I was like, holy crap, dude. <laughs> Are you in a good guild, Mike? Blighted Lands, Darkstone, da da da. I tried looking you up to everybody here. Hit, everybody hit like! Hit like and subscribe. And if you're on PS4 somehow watching me, I do this on YouTube. I don't do it on PS4. So you're getting lucky right now that you're watching me on PS4. It's the only thing I do on PS4. And I make videos every day of the week. Let's try another three trophy. So if you really want to watch this channel, you need to be on YouTube and subscribe. And hit notifications. I never say that because I don't think it's that important, but it probably is. For people to, to hit notifications, then maybe maybe you miss a video. Even though you know I do one every every day, so it's hard to miss. Because all you have to do is go look at my channel and you can see that, hey, he's doing videos every day. So I need to check his channel every day if I want to see every video. So notifications for me is kind of not as good as for other channels because I do a video every single day and you know that. So all you have to do is look at my channel every day. But it does help. Because then you know right when it comes out. Right when it comes out. And you don't miss it. And you don't forget. Uh, 53 plus 25. 78. If one of them was fairy fired, I might try it, but... They're not. Uh... I'm just making all kinds of noises today, aren't I? Somebody should do like a compilation of all the weird noises I make. Could be like a meme. Alright, that guy's fairy fired, but the furnace is so much stronger. I'd rather just cast that. We can clean up with the anus. The anus is the toilet paper. Alright, TP. Let's go.
Alright, now we're silenced. That's beautiful. Should I just give them the skulls? Hopefully they take them. Uh-oh, they got an extra turn. It's not what I was going for. Uh-oh. Are we going to lose our first battle with this team? We got Infernus. Are we frozen? No. There's almost no reason to... Everybody's silenced except for... Ooh, baby. We keep barely surviving. <clears throat> They got this, though. They could do it. They could pull it out. I don't think I've won it yet. As long as they don't kill Infernus here. Nice. Another three trophy down. It might be, like, the ranking... Like, my ranking or whatever. I might be getting easier battles, because I'm not... There's some kind of... Mechanic with PvP where... I think you used to be able to manipulate PvP... I'm not 100% on this, like, I never dabbled in this at all, but I think if you lose on purpose a bunch of times in a row, it makes future battles easier or something. Somebody in the chat might know. But it used to be, I think they fixed it. You used to be able to, like, I don't know if you would run away or retire or just lose on purpose a bunch. And then it sets you at a certain uh, difficulty to where it's way easier. And then you can blow through all the way to tier 1 a lot faster than if you just play it normally. Like, you just come in here, you go to this, and you lose on purpose like five times. And then it makes it easier, and in the end, you have a net gain of time. I don't know. I never got into it, so I never... I think that was a thing, though. I mean, they might have fixed it, they might not have. So maybe look it up if you're interested. But that's definitely was a thing. Uh, if you haven't hit the like button already, do it now. We get pretty good likes on my videos, I feel. The thing I think is like the views. We should be getting like twice as many views, I think. The likes are awesome. You guys are quality. Everybody that's here is super awesome. We don't have a weak community. We have a strong quality community that when I have 200 views I'll get 20 likes when I have 500 views I get 50 60 likes when I have a thousand I get a hundred likes you guys come through with the likes it's just the view like I feel like sometimes we should be hitting a thousand after a few days instead of 500 or we should be hitting seven or eight when we hit three or four you know what I'm saying but whatever that you guys can't control that you're not in control of everybody in the world the only thing we can do is tell more people that's why I say tell your guild tell your guild maybe we'll get an extra view here or there an extra subscriber still the underdog still the man of the people still totally free to play we we don't have we're not we're not at 10k we're not at 20k we're we're here at 3K, free to play, Bay Bay. All right. Oh, uh, nothing to do really. So maybe we'll cast the flame. There's nothing to do. So knock the barrier off at least. I guess I don't know. And nobody probably likes when I complain or talk about that stuff. It just I'm unfiltered most of the time. Unfiltered. And I was thinking about asking everybody, like, what could I do? But then I really don't want to hear the answers, because it's probably stuff I don't want to hear. So, that's a problem. That's a problem. They would say, S get a cam, or... Uh, I don't know. Get a cam, or get a uh, Elgato, so you can capture more games, or play this game, or play that game, or... It's live stream every day. I've tried that. I'm up to suggestions, but I, you know, I'm not having the greatest week this week, so I really don't want to hear about stuff I'm not doing right at the moment. But uh, maybe one day. 
I know some people don't like the intro. Some people don't like this and that. Some people, it's like, I'm just going with what's working. And I tweak it here and there. You see that. If you've been watching me for years, or if you even just go back and look at an older video, you can see. I definitely tweak. I don't, I'm not that hard-headed. I definitely am, but I'm not to where I'd never change anything. I definitely do. <clears throat> I took two seconds out of the intro just because people don't like it. I even changed it a little bit to make it less abrasive. I, li I hear things and then I slowly make ti small tweaks. I'm not going to majorly switch stuff because I'm not that type of person. If somebody tells me I need to do something, I'm not going to be like, Okay, Jack, let's do it right now without thinking about it or having my own opinion on it. I'm not that kind of person. I'm not going to be like, okay, let's go. I should stick my head in that furnace. Let's do it. Just because you said so. That's not... I gotta, like, say, okay. That's why I'm, I'm cynical, right? I don't trust anybody. And I'm a hard-headed person. So I need to come... I need to come to it come to the realization on my own and then I'll say oh yeah that person did say that so that's probably where I got it from but it took me th six months to finally implement it flame of anus see even with they're fully f I mean there's only two of them but Fully flaming up. Fully green and red flames flying off their bodies. But Infernus is still better. There's no reason to use this thing. Why would you use it instead of Infernus? I feel, I feel like it's just wasting a slot. The I guess the third trait's okay. But the Fairy Fire? It is contributing to the team. But not with the spell. We keep winning three trophy though. Like, this thing is not contributing. Whenever I have this and this up, I'm casting this. But it does have the flaming main. Burn and fairy fire. Like, the fairy fire helps out. But you could probably get that somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? You could get a fairy fire somewhere else for less mana and probably not a mythic. And Divinish Bala just is her own team on her own. She's just good. And this, we could still maybe try something different, like a Mountain Crusher, or I just like the, I like the refle reflection of good. And Priest seems like the best choice. I don't see any other way we can do this team at the moment. Uh, remember, it's got a three in you, seven. What? Bear, you can join Vishal's guild. John, you're not in a guild? What are you saying? You gotta be in a guild. Oh, you said... I know you're in a guild. Come on. 17 of 30 are active constantly. Yeah, you just slowly work your way up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you want to stay in that guild, even if they're only 17 of 30. But, try to find that next one. Don't leave and have no guild for months, but don't stay in there for years if half the people aren't doing anything. Good guilds are hard to find. Mine is pretty good. Yeah, once you find a good one, especially if it's a top 20, guild rank on leaderboard is 342. Same here, but all 20 players are great job in our guild. Yeah, if there's like 20 doing awesome, then... Mentioned in the guild master, things have got better. Not every guild hits every task, though. Chad Angelo, what up, man? Yeah, I've been every day, every 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 Saturday at 6 a.m. I'm trying. Every vi a video every day, a live stream every weekend. We're done with Final Fantasy VII remake, unfortunately, not by choice. I just took that for the purple, not the skull. Um, 
Not by choice, but we're done with that, so it's gonna be only Gems of War for a little bit. Give myself a little bit of a break, you know? Only play Gems of War and only do seven videos a week instead of nine videos a week and two different games. Just for a little bit. Maybe like during the holidays. Maybe maybe only for a week or two. Maybe till the end of the year. I don't know right now. But still, that's a video every day. It's not like I'm doing a whole bunch less. I'm cutting out the... Only because it made me do it. Cutting out the other game that I was playing. Because it made me. It's so weird. I've never had that happen on any game ever. I've been I've had this channel for like four years. If you look at when I created the channel, it's weird. Like it says a long time ago because I... But it's not... I mean when I made my first video. That's all that counts. I made my first video like four years ago. Somebody could probably see exactly when. Oh, don't loot me, please. Ooh, I wanted to kill that gob truffle. I didn't even... Look at the board. Aw, oh, man, I hate when that happens. You think you got an extra turn and then something weird happens in the cascade? That I should have seen. Um... I'm so surprised we haven't lost with this team yet. Uh, what is my banner? I think double purple yellow. Or double yellow purple. Ouch. This will be a close one. They don't have any damage over there, though. All they got is skulls. This will be a close one, but all they have is skulls right now. Ooh, and explodes. Ouch. Oh, if they win, it's all on luck. Lucky explodes and lucky skulls. Hmm. I should probably just get myself up. Where's the safest place? Maybe here. Ouch. Oh, with all that on the board, there's no extra turn. Are you serious? Look at all that red. And then look at all that yellow and green together. And there's nothing. Seriously. And if I take this, I bet you some weird extra turn. Ex I bet you some weird skull falls. Kills me. If I take this, I bet you. What else is there? There's either that or this red. Maybe if I take this down. That's probably the safest move. They're just going to fall into some skulls, too. Uh... Oops! Dang it. Oh, I missed an extra turn, but that might have been for the better, actually. Because then they probably would have had this. I was lucky. Which way should I take it? Red and yellow. Come on. Where is my Divinish Bala? It should've, I should have had it by now. What's the safest move? One, two, three. Nah, no, that's not very safe. That's not safe either. What if a skull falls? I don't think there's any safe moves. I just have to be lucky. If I take this, a skull could fall to here. And if I take that, a skull could fall to here. So there's nothing else I can do. I guess I'll go with the yellow. Because they need it. That's my reasoning. If I take brown, it still messes up their yellow, though. <laughs> Plus, if they get this, it might not be a Doom Skull. And if they get this, it's definitely a Doom Skull, which does more damage. So I'm going to do this. See, I knew it. What'd I tell you? Freaking Skull. Out of all things, there's seven different things that can fall right there. Of course, it's the Skull. There's eight different things that could fall, but two of them are a skull, I guess. So it's a one in four chance that a skull falls? That's crazy. I guess that's how it works. I don't know. There's no storm right now. A skull fell there, too. Alright, we got this. 
I don't know. Uh, which way should I do this? I don't know, we might we might not be If I do that I have to do that. Let's do this. Watch this. Is this going to work? Watch. Is this going to work? I think this works. Extra turn. Now I'm going to take this brown cuz I know I got skulls after that. I don't care about that blue. That blue might screw me up. Oh, I won. Can you believe I won that one? I've been alright, man. Not having the greatest week ever, but I'm not going to keep saying that. Sorry. Mine is 140 level, but they give the required rewards like I don't get the major orb. Barely surviving by fairy fire, I know. What team would you use for the current invasion? Triple Ferocity Rage Reaver. Ferocity, Ferocity, Rage Reaver, Ferocity with uh, Shaman class. Everything has to be traded. And like a double red, brown or blue. How is the Horn Cleaver weapon worth getting from the invasion shop? I just get every weapon from there. It's not that good, but you're not going to be able to get it again for a long time if you don't get it now. It's not like you're going to use it or anything. It's just for collection. If you want to get all the weapons, one day you might say, man, I should have got that Horn Cleaver. Plus, just to um, do your your do your um, your share and your guild, just to do your share, you should probably buy up to that point anyway. It depends. I don't know what kind of guild you're in or what level you are, but buying up to the weapon is like probably what you should do for your guild. It's not it's not like you're gonna use it, but I think you should get it just to do your share. I need a new guild that is active constantly and understands that I'm busy trying to level up my kingdoms and can't always donate gold. Uh, most guilds have a requirement. Most serious guilds have a requirement. Like a guild, re uh, gold requirement. Ooh, a Zulgoth team. Let's go until we lose. I mean, if I have enough time. We're probably going to have to get off here soon. Um, most guilds have a gold requirement that are serious. So find a guild that has a requirement that you're comfortable with. You can give it on Monday, and then you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week. Like, say you're comfortable with 100,000 a week, for example. If you're over level 1,000, it's probably way more than that. I'm just saying, as a newer player, let's say you're comfortable with 100,000 gold a week. You can give it on Monday, and then you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the week. You can do your part in the event and just do whatever you want otherwise. Level 194 max members. If you're only level 194, then they shouldn't be getting on you too much about gold. I mean, just give what you can. Gold requirement is 10 to 50k. Let's see, that's a good one. I don't get why people shout out other channels, uh, but nobody does that for me. Nobody does that for me, so... We are... I'm about to make those words, like, uh, words you can't say. I'm not that petty, but I'm about to do it. It's an I... I it's like, this... Ha nobody does it for me, so why... You know what I'm saying? People like Kimmy. Kimmy has a channel. Did you know that? Screw those other guys. You know Kimmy has a channel. Vishal has a channel. D-Rock has a channel. Those people have channels. Uh, let's see. It's a full guild, but half of them are inactive. Uh, yeah, I'm in a guild city. I just mentioned what my guild take are. Yeah, stay put if you're in a one that you're comfortable with and you're gaining being in it. If you're given the most in your guild, then... Do we got mods here, by the way, just in case? Since, you know, what I just... Just in case... There's any mods here just in case. I'm sure you understand. 
Um, your sigil is cursed. Best true achievement elite. Uh, was last battle good? Did you like ending Final Fantasy? I'm not done yet, but that was fun, man. That uh, Arsenal battle was awesome. Um, the Genova battle was awesome. Uh, the Rufus battle was fun too. It's all I love. The game's been good, and I just did the very next part, and that's it. I haven't done too much other than you guys have seen. I did like a motorcycle uh, thing. <laughs> Chad. Nice, Chad. Appreciate it, man. You've been around a while, Chad. I see you all over the place. Uh, we will never know. I know, John. That's the problem. That's why I'm going to put out one more video. Just, like, summarizing, explaining... Um, I'll link another person's, if I'm allowed to, I still gotta make sure I can, I'm even allowed to link someone else's video. Like, I might even contact the person. I might find, like, a smaller, a smaller YouTuber that's around my size and say, Hey, dude, do you want a little bit of, can I use your video to, because I was playing the game and it won't let me finish it? Like, maybe they'll want that, you know? Somebody around my size that played the game, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Because they'll probably respond. Like, if I ask the Rad Brad or somebody, they won't even respond. Uh, remember my Yasmin's chosen team. I'll let you know. Yeah, if, the, if they kick people out that don't do anything, that's the best you can... That's the best thing you can hope for early on. When you join a guild early on, like, forget about requirements and all that stuff. The best thing you can hope for at first in a guild is that you have a guild leader that kicks people out that don't do anything. You gotta move, move them in, move them out. You know what I'm saying? Bring in people that are doing stuff, get rid of people that aren't doing stuff. If your guild leader's not doing that, get the heck out of there. Maybe send him a message and be like, hey, you think you can start kicking these people that aren't doing anything? If he don't listen, then say, all right, you're the guild leader, this is your guild, but I'm gonna be moving on to another guild where they actually care that everybody's helping each other. But that's the first, even before requirements and events and tasks and getting everything done and legendary tasks and all that stuff, even before all that, if your guild leader is good and they're kicking people out and bringing new people in and keeping it fresh, then that's the, that's a good start. Get to know your guild leader. When you, when you join a new guild, get to know your guild leader, ask him how he does things, see if there's any requirements. Say, hey, how long do you give people if they're not doing anything? Are you letting people just sit here forever because you want to have 30 out of 30? Or are you kicking people out, bringing people in, keeping it keeping it moving? That's the first thing you want to look for. I would say. Kimmy's channel, you can just click on her. I think you can just click on her. It's the same thing. Yep. And then if you tell your guild leader, sometimes they'll let you, like, hey, I'm going on vacation. Cool. Phone's making noises. Who did the dislike? Probably, fuck, probably, uh, the guy that, uh, was shouting out other channels. I just, like, that's fine and everything, but nobody does that for me on other people's channels, so. I would have the same energy. Like, the energy would be different if it was. I don't even, like, it would kind of be embarrassing if, <laughs> you know. It would be embarrassing if people were always shouting my channel out on, like, what's-his-name's channel, but. Every once in a while, it would be cool, like, hey, I saw this on this channel. Just every once in a while, but it's like, never. So why, unless you're a member and like somebody I like and somebody I know, that's the only people I'm shouting out right now. If I know you, like you, you're here all the time, I got your back, you got my back. That's how I live my life anyway. If, I, if you're a total stranger and I don't know who you are and just because you play Gems of War and have a channel, that doesn't mean I'm going to say your name. I got to know you, like you. You know, I got your back, you got my back type stuff. 
not just some new new person either you can't just come in and say a couple nice things like Vishal's here every time Vishal's here every time every time I go live Vishal's here so I don't feel like I think he I should shout him out you know Vishal's trying to start a channel he's here every time every single time you know what I'm saying somebody just pops in and says uh, you know, Dirty Dirty Tampon also plays Gems of War. Like, who cares, bro? Good for you. Dirty Dirty Tampon plays Gems of War. Way to go. You just, I don't know who that is, though, you know? I don't know who you are. I don't know if you're a good person, a bad person. I don't know what you think about my channel. I don't know who you are. I'm about to lose. Uh oh, we finally lost. Hey, it took a while though. Uh, telling my guild master, and we are now more members contributing than before. Yeah, that's a good one. Everybody. Get in a better guild. That's one thing you can definitely do early on. Keep improving. Don't get stuck in that one guild. I know how it is, though. This is how I was. When I started playing the game... That's cool, Mike. Appreciate it, man. Oh, uh, you're not gonna keep doing your channel, man? That's cool, though. It's hard. It's a hard thing. You gotta... It's really hard. That's why... The more promo, the better. The more people saying your name, the better, you know? So I get it. I know what they're doing, but... I, my butt gets chapped a little bit, because nobody really did that for me. Uh, you know, a little bit, of course. I'm not... I'm not gonna say... It. Extra turn! The only person I really have to, uh would be Tacit. Tacit's the only one that's ever even done anything. He doesn't anymore, but he did at one point a little bit. Just a tad, so I'll never say a bad word about him. I might call him what's-his-name every once in a while just as a joke. It's a complete joke. I even... I, I watch him. At least once or twice a week. And I've been watching him since I started playing. So I'll never... I don't care. Even if other people come in here and say they don't like them, I'll, it's, I'm not going to join in on the bashing. I'll say, hey, that's cool. You got me now. But I won't be like, yeah, I agree. He sucks. Like, I will never do that. The worst I'll do is be like, man, he was looking at the speedrun.com leaderboards, and my name's on every single one of them, and he couldn't even mention it? Or, man, he was... Somebody said something about my channel, and then he called me what's what's his name. Like, that's the worst I'll ever say. And then I might call him what's his name for a while, just as a joke. I don't know how I got on this topic, though. This is what I used to do a lot. I used to rant about this kind of stuff. And I tried to stop, so I'm going to quit. Oh, let's see. Must be the week I'm having. Oh, uh, let's see. Furnace. I'm a sinner and an infidel. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell. I was going to talk about being an infidel. <laughs> Infidels. Have you told Cindy what? Uh. Hey, what up, Ben? Hopefully you're still there, dude. Sometimes I miss them. Miss Sometimes I miss them. Miss some chats. But what up, Ben? Also, how do you look for guilds if you're in one? Can't find anything on the game to search. I would say go on Gems of War forum. I think that's the best way best way to do it. Even though, you know, you wish there was some way to do it in game. There might be too. I've just been in the guild for so long I never do it or look it up or anything. But I know usually the answer is Gems of War forum. Go on there. There's a bunch of channels that you can look at. Or a bunch of channels. A bunch of threads. Uh, 
I'm on a rant. It's all good, Mike. Uh, let's see. I think I can do this. Boom! I'm still using this team even though I lost. So, I think I was going to quit when I lost. And I didn't do that. But we showed, a, like, okay, we showed a couple invasion teams today, right? I showed my team. Then we showed Vishal's team. Then I showed, like, a me and Vishal together team. And then I showed a, uh, a new mythic team from D-Rock, who also has a channel, by the way. Comes here a lot. He's the man. He's got my back, I got his back type stuff. So, D-Rock on Twitch. Uh, Artless X Arts. Even if he's not here right now, I don't care. He gave me a team for my mythic, so he's still helping even when he's not here. Uh, so that's another person, if I didn't say it. But yeah, so we got that mythic team, new mythic team, then I made one myself. It's this. It's okay. I would never suggest anyone get this mythic as a a craft or make it make this mythic as one of your teams. Like this is not a good mythic. It needs something else. It feels like it's missing something. And that's all I how I feel about it. You almost always have to put it with either Divine Ishbala or uh, Forest Guardian to get that half start. It feels like it needs to go with Infernus for the burn, but you could probably do something else with the Fairy Fire. And um, that's how I feel about it. It doesn't do a lot of damage. When you pair it with Infernus, you want to use Infernus instead. Every time they're both up, why would you cast the one and not... Why would you cast Flame of Anu instead of Infernus? It can clean up Infernus, but hopefully Infernus gets back up and you cast him again. But I don't know, maybe I could switch the order around, use a different weapon, use a different class. Like, maybe somebody can come up with a slightly better team than I had there. And D-Rock's team was kind of Divinish Bala and Quillen with Flame of Anu tacked on the end. So, it is what it is. We got a couple teams in. It's only the second day. Maybe somebody will come up with something better. You know what I'm saying? Alright, Vishal, man. You badminton movie-watching... Mover and shaker, you. I gotta get out of here, probably, guys. Uh. Oh wow, you and Trey are in the same guild. I know. I was kind of checking out what guild you were in, cause your guild's only. I think your guild's only like one or two below me. And I was like, hey. Proud member of the seal the deal. Nice. Yeah, I was uh thinking that. Yeah, that other guy's retired. I don't know why people keep bringing him up, though. Somebody told me the other day that I should make my videos like his videos. I'm like, I know what you mean, my guy, but I have more subscribers than him, and he's retired. Shouldn't people be making videos like me? I know I could do way different stuff. I could do stuff better. I could do more editing. I could figure out more stuff. Like, I, obviously, I know. But why are people telling me to make videos like him when he totally abandoned everyone? And I have more subscribers. Like, I don't get it. Like, I should go make videos like Dirty Dirty Tampon or something. Like, who ca Like, come on. I don't know why I keep saying that either. Oh, great. He's coming back. Exciting. But I better get out of here, guys. I'm going on rants and stuff. And I probably already pushed my luck. And it's 9 a.m. So I appreciate it. I really do. I'm sorry if I'm grumpy today. I'm sorry. It's just not my cup of tea. I always say he's nice. He's good. But it's not my cup of tea. That's all I've said. I'll never say much more than that. Except for the devs love, love, like, want to make out with them every day. Alright guys, gotta go. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining, it helps a lot. Uh, apologize for the rants and whatnot. Uh, yeah, I should have my own style, you know. Not copy other people. Oh, you want to see teams? Um, 
For invasion, I was using triple ferocity, rage reaver. I don't even know if I can do it. I don't have sigils, man, but it's just ferocity, ferocity, rage reaver, ferocity. And then my um flame of Anu team was this. Reflection of good, flame of Anu, and furnace down at Divinish Bala with priest, double yellow purple. And uh, then D Rock had given me a team. It was uh, Doomed Club. Uh, I forget. Like Flame of Anu, Divinish Bala, Quillen, or something like that. It was one of the, It's earlier in, if you want to watch the video from earlier. And then the other invasion team, you can just use two of the invasion troop and um, like Skeleros and uh, something else. Whether it's. Uh, you know, Earth's Fury or, or whatever. But yeah, check it out, y'all. Like, I, I showed them all earlier. But shout out to Kimmy, Mike, D. What up, Mike? Kimmy, Trey, the Holograin. What up? Didn't say hi. Trevor. Thank you, Trevor, for feeling that way. I appreciate it, man. It's only a couple people here and there. Uh, John, Kimmy, Tim. I guess now that, the, now that he's coming back, I'm definitely going to go down to third place. Uh, he gets all the love from the devs, so he's got like an, a super big advantage. Trey, the hollow green, they love him with every beat of their heart. Chad, Kimmy, Pamela, ah, uh, Ben, if I didn't say Ben, Denise, Denise, I'm sorry, Denise, I hope you're still there. Kimmy, Trey, John, Vishal, Mike, John, I'm just saying all the names, Chad, Angelo, Ben again. Mike again, everybody, Michelle again, Tim again, Pamela. All right, I know uh, Elite Gaming was here, Bear Razor, and this is always what I do at the end. Sorry, Trevor, if I didn't say Trevor, thank you so much. I just appreciate it, so I'll t I'm taking the time at the end. I appreciate everybody that's here. Oh, Garg. Garg was here. Anybody else? Did I miss anybody? Put it in the chat. If you want to hear your name, put it down. Say something. I'm about to leave. Have a good weekend. Tomorrow will be the spoiler video. Rock Stomp. Tomorrow will be the spoiler video. I don't know what I'm going to do for Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm probably just going to take a break off of doing extra stuff and just do Gems of War every day. But that's everybody I see. I gotta get out of here or I would, Chad. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, finger that thumb. <laughs> Have a good weekend, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the spoiler video. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, and the super stickers were awesome. I think John and Kimmy, right? Thank you so much. See you guys tomorrow for spoilers. Leave a comment. We can talk in the comments still. This doesn't have to end. We can talk in the comments. Just comment on any of the videos, and I'll reply. Peace.